podcast is intended for mature audiences. The views and opinions expressed are those of the panelists and do not reflect in any way those of the podcast partners, sponsors, or affiliates. Enjoy. Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and you're listening to the voice of the people. Let's get ready for Boxing Voice. Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Every day I'm hustling, 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 every day
like it's going to hit you one day. Like it's going to hit you. It might not have to hit you this weekend. You know, I'm not going to bet on that. Well, I might, but you know, it probably won't, but it's a better fight than that. It's a better fight than that for sure. Um, I mean, yeah. you, you know, you're right. I'm sorry. I mean, go ahead. Now nah, I, I want to jump in there and say, we, we've been talking about this, you know, on, um, you know, in the chat and things and just, I, I think in, in my kind of immediate boxing spheres, like, I think it's totally disrespectful to discredit a man that's moving up two weight classes to fight a champion. Like, you know, it's just like if you, because the weight classes matter, because the weight divisions matter. So that's why it was a big deal when Roy Jones did it. Doesn't matter that it was John Ruiz. He did it, right? So I, I don't understand. I, but someone made me clear. I don't know if it was Brandon. Um, Shout out to Brandon from Houston. The, the hate that you'll get associated with Floyd sometimes is, is just too much for the people to ever give you your flowers. Oh. And that's a terrible thing. Oh. Terrible thing. No, nah, you're right, champ. You're absolutely right. and Because it, it's like we, we made two separate points, but around the same thing. Like my whole thing is like I understand why you don't want to pick Mario. I understand why you don't think he's got that much of a chance. But don't say he's not going to win at all don't say he's got a zero percent chance like my brother was disrespectful enough to say that he had a less than five percent chance a less than five percent chance for a guy who's moving up. like bro i swear to god i looked at him like yo you you might lose your card your hardcore cards this weekend bro like that's disrespectful but on the other side you're absolutely right because the more you trash mario the less respect you have you you have to give tank which is also a disservice you know what i'm saying like that's a disservice in and of itself so for top rank to do the bullshit that they're doing right like we that, you you got to you have to know why why they're doing that you know and, and it's well within their rights might be a dick move or whatever but at the end of the day for the fans that actually understand this sport that actually understand what it is to get in there with you know and move up weight classes to say that he doesn't have you know at least like a 15 like can we say 80 20 is that too much for hey, my hey, boy like damn mario mario tell, tell him tell him I, i'm talking to jeff hey hey scotia gang i'm talking to you that belt means something mario Barros ain't no fake champ you know you know what that ibo would do for you in border wars what are you talking about uh, i got on, my man. medal you know, don't make Come me get on, my medal man. Ain't no fake champ business, man. Listen, you, and that's the problem with it because people come out there and not necessarily Jeff. I know he, you know, he's he's a well astute student of the game, but people look at Mario's for some, Mario uh, Barrios for some reason as some sort of disposable guy. Granted, you know, I think it's it's more to to PBC side of not having any depth yes. at 140. You know what I'm saying? But um, he's been around for a while fighting whoever they put in front of him as far as I can understand or remember. So if the man woke up and he got a, you know, belt, he's working with Virgil, you know, give him some credibility. I think he's got enough credibility for this to be a good win on Tank's resume if that's what happens. Now, mm. suppose the other thing that happens, right? Suppose he surprised us all because he's stronger than we thought. And the, and the division, the weight divisions matter and his jab worked a little better and, you know, Tank couldn't really get the lateral movement going. Suppose it's a, it's a split decision and they give it to the champ. I don't think that diminishes anything from either fighter. But, of course, you know, some boxing fans might not appreciate that. Word, word. Uh, real quick, a super chat coming in from Robert Singleton says, Agree, Mario. Mario's got a great chance to win. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, you want to talk about pound for pound who's the better fighter? It's Tank. I don't think that anybody that understands... The, or I, I'll put it this way. I don't think anybody that's seen both of their careers extensively would argue the other way. But this is a fight. This is a fight yeah. with a bigger guy. Yeah. And a guy who's never been in a competitive environment on that stage at that weight. It it, it could be a culture shock for him. You know, yeah. it could be. Um, I, I don't think it will be. But but and that's the other part about the belt. Like I forgot who you said saying it on Twitter for Mario? yesterday. You saying for Mario it could be a culture shock? No, 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 for Tank. I mean, for him to be in a situation Mario, where he's moving up. I think yeah, for I would Mario, the other way around. Yeah. yeah, no, 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 definitely the other way around. I too. went I went to Atlanta for the press conference, and I, I feel like whether he, whether it's a small glimpse of adversity that he suffers uh, via the stage being too big, 
uh, and he overcomes that, and then he, you know, starts looking better a few later rounds, or the stage is just too big and, and Tank gets it out, gets him out of there early. Uh, when I went to the press conference, he was, you know, a lot of uh, dry swallowing. It's just like he, this is his first big fight. It's his first big fight. Think about it. There's no, I mean, like, I forgot who called in or who said it yesterday, but, like, he has no name on his, like, the biggest name literally is Ryan, Ryan Carbacar. Carl. Like, that, that alone is, like, holy shit. That's the biggest name. Like, that doesn't get you ready for Tank. It don't matter how many divisions above. It don't get you ready for Tank. Ness, let me give you an analogy of how bright the lights are. Because because I was tuned in. That was a great live. You had the interviews with Leonard Ellaby, Calvin Ford. That was a great live, right? But as I'm watching it, Mario Barrios was like, and you got, you know, older son. Mario Barrios was like waiting at home for your prom date. And she bad as hell. And you can't believe you got a date with her. And you got to wait for her to show up. So you there with your parents, all your boys, they waiting for her to show up because she got the limo and you're just kind of going through all these anxieties and your sweat. Like he, he was dressed nice with his vest on. Like he uh, was waiting for his, his hella, day. Hella it's stuttering. So funny. Hella stuttering. Hella stuttering. What? No. Bro, y'all ain't watched the press conference? I, I, to be honest with you, I did. I haven't even watched all access yet. Well, I watched the first, uh, most of the first Brad, one, but he, I'm gonna rewatch it. His him. brain wasn't working properly. They gonna say I'm disrespectful. Oh, they gonna say I, I threw him a softball. I said, "Yo, that vest is fire, right?" What do you say? Like uh -huh. I said, "Yo, that's that a good one." Yeah, I said, "Yo, that vest is fire." Where you get it from? I literally wanted one, right? So here goes the beauty. He ends up being, it ends up being a one of a kind. Why? Not because he bought it. From the designer, he, made it. he fucking made it. Instead of giving me the story, I'm trying to force the story out. Where could they see it? Uh, he trying to walk away because he's he's sweating like palm sweaty, knees he's weak. He's not used to that. Mom's spaghetti. Yo, he had mom's spaghetti on him. Bruh. Damn, dog. He's not Bruh. used to that fly date. Come on, Bruh. yo. He <laughs> like something about Mary. Frank and beans in the back. Yeah, yeah. He's nervous. Mind you, mind Bro. you, mind you. Now, the what episode one and two? They got him wearing the fucking vest. Yep. He could have been getting super advertisement. It could have been a whole nother storyline like Mario Barrios. You know, even though he's a champion, he's still a designer in his That's free time. And, and you know, the like, artist in the ring, artist outside the ring. Exactly. exactly. Bruh, they, That's how you spin it, bro. They don't know. They don't know how to market, man. They 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 fall in oh, asleep. They the think publicist. they think we, the publicist. they think we are. He got one. They think well, he we. Well, he got one. Never mind. My bad. Yeah, you're right. They think we. They think we. I fucking lost my train of thought. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm fuck, sorry. Fuck. Nah, whatever. Moving on. Anyway, the point is, uh, on their schedule, ESPN, uh, they have key date Vasil Lomachenko. So I, I guess that's the question. What's the more significant fight in their respected division? Uh, I guess I answered my own question. In their respected divisions, what's the more mm, significant good question. fight? Go ahead, Ami. <laughs> Throw uh, the ball on Ami. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, um... Yeah, man, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say Tank. You want to know why? Oh, because, ho, ho. yeah, because Tank can come back when he wants to, and I think he's proven that. Because look, look, look. It, to me, it says, "What do your opponents go on to do?" Pedraza's on fire. Okay, so Tank can always go back. Tank could double back. The other guys is fighting for their life in that regard. To me, as far as skill wise, who could beat who if they lined up? Take promoters out. If the fights happen, Tank might wash him most, if not all. So he could double back for them fights. This is something different. Oh, uh, look, me, James Valdez saying that they did talk about it on um, All Access. And, and, yeah, it was under a calmer setting. Yeah, and also probably did have his really good publicist that he has, you know, helping him at that point because, uh, yeah, the lights get bright, man. I've seen it since I was a kid. Like, I remember... Uh, watching Floyd and De La Hoya and wondering if those bright lights would hit Floyd. You know, I mean, you know, all these years later, we find out he was made for him, right? But I'm going to say, honestly, I think it's the bigger win for Tank. And I'll tell you why. Because it adds a weight class that opens up a bevy of options, right? And like you, like I mean, said, he could come back, double back. But then he could also do whatever the fuck he really wants. Like, 
everybody's talking about this belt, right? And how it's a fake belt and how it's not a real belt. Okay, whatever. You want to say that, that's fine. But let me tell you what belt's on the line. The tank belt. The tank belt is the only one that really matters. It's the one you don't have to pay sanctioning fees for. It's the one that gets you on pay-per-view. It's the one that makes you the most money. Like, mm -hmm. that's the belt that counts, okay? And, and I'm not saying that, you know, shitting on Undisputed at all. What what Josh Taylor was able to accomplish is amazing. And it's super, that's rarefied air that that man is breathing, But it's okay? two different routes to the money, though. But it's two different routes Definitely. to the money. And let's be real, like, yo, you know how many people on Twitter were coming after Josh? Uh, because he had been putting some like kind of like he's been shooting some shots right on Twitter subliminals. What kind Yo, of people shots? Been, you know, Come just on, give like us, give us some detail. What kind of shots? Uh, you know, Mickey Mouse fight type thing. Uh, Calling this fake fight? belts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fake wow. belts. He 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 so he he had put some tweet like where he was being like sarcastic, saying like, uh. What belt do they have or what belt's on the line? Like, you know what I mean? Like, so you're well, shooting the shots. And, yo, everybody came at him. Like, yo, you're mad because the promo for this has completely outweighed the promo for your fight. Which is true, but it's not really – I mean, it's true because it's tank. Not because it was the more important fight. Josh Taylor was obviously the more important fight. But an American television, an American audience, tank moves the needle. There's nothing else to say. That's the bottom line. And beating Nakatani is the guy that you already lost to, and he he beat that guy. So it's like, I don't know. Now, you know what it's like? It's like if if two rich guys in the room, and one guy say, yo, I got my money because I went to college, I got advanced degrees, and I played the market. And the other guy says, yo, I hustled hard, I drove trucks, and then I bought a business. It's two different routes. Tank is the truck driving route. Um, Josh Taylor is the, you know, because of the, 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 the tournaments and the pedigree, sure. he's the educated route, if you will. I don't, I think he has a, a right to speak his piece, but to disparage that truck driver route, you'd be a fool to do that. That's why I take it as a slight, but he does have a point having earned undisputed. I mean, he get to talk that shit. You know what I'm saying? Whether we all listen is another story. That's up to each and every mm. individual. Bruh, bruh, I'm going to, I'm going to add some spice to this because... A, he is talking shit. I don't know if you've seen his headline that he says he has a better resume than Crawford. B, Whoa. there's a lot of hypocrisy out here because when Canelo moved up to 68, sparked Rocky Fielding, they called it a fake belt. There's a lot of people in a rush to call Tank, uh, you know, whatever division champ this makes him, you know, and um, if we go to Rocky Fielding... Did he have a better win over anyone in the boxing world uh, than than a cardboard mm -hmm. Kyle Carl Boy Carl? Well, I, well, it's it's arguable. It's arguable for sure. I mean, it's actually not. He beat John Ryder. I was gonna say. Oh, John uh, Ryder. That's right. I forgot. I about was that gonna fight. say Zugi because people don't know him, but I was giving him credit for Zugi for going over to 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 Germany and beating that dude for for the regular belt. Like, he wasn't expected to win that fight when he went to Germany. So, you know, unlike Barrios, right, who, you know, truth be told, I'm not kicking Shay, but many thought he, you know, deserved to give a rematch at the very least to Akhmed Megdov or whatever. Uh, yeah. That wasn't the case for Rocky Fielding. Instead, Rocky Fielding beat John Ryder, who arguably beat Callum Smith, and went to another country like Pauli Malignaggi and became a world champion. Um, but you know, that was shamed on, that was laughed at. Now here we are, you know, glamorizing and putting this, uh, regular title on a pedestal. You he know? called it a Mickey Mouse belt. Thank you, uh, Rob. Yeah. He called it a Mickey Mouse belt. That's what he said. And a lot of people came after him. Um, you know, and, and, and I don't like, I don't have any problems with him defending his status, right? But, like, when we're going to talk on air and we're going to talk about the fight, like, we have to be honest about what's going on. And, and, and the truth is, like, I did not think Twitter was going to be so involved and interested in this fight just based on the way that people have been talking the last four weeks. And that's, you know, Yo, not listen, the case. I mean, the good thing is that, that Josh Teller is a villain like 
like Billy, but he's a he's a uh, obviously he's proven to be a better fighter because he is a unified, sure. undisputed champion. Um, but we need guys also, like him. We need people like him that are gonna tell people like Crawford, I have a better resume. That are gonna tell people like Javante Davis, you're fighting for a Mickey Mouse belt. This kid is doing what he's got to do. Let's get behind him. Yeah. And 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 the action and sauce that he's bringing. To be honest with you, because like, who else is out here trying to discredit Tank? Trying to discredit Crawford? Trying to get a fight with Tank? Trying to get a fight with Crawford? No one. So let's get behind them. And, and yo, I agree because if you if you disparage a fighter's resume. That means you really want to fight it. You start talking about A side, B side, and splits. To me, that ain't really fight talk. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. I, I just think at the end of the day, um, I, I don't even compare them. I know the fight's at 140. I know that there's some sort of title on the line. But at the end of the day, Josh Taylor is the end all be all of that division you know what i mean and and so for me like tank has I don't other know about business all that. a different route i don't know about all that like i said this is the debate what do you mean end all be all that josh Tell well he's got not, all the belts he's not on pay-per-view it does it matter to tank does it matter no, to no, no, atlanta no, I'm not saying Do that matters to tank no all i'm saying but is does it matter to atlanta it, it doesn't matter to showtime did it matter to mayweather like, it matter it matters to it, who it, it, it matters to boxing. So it why to is boxing. this fight on like pay per view you... then? If it mattered, they would be giving you this for free. Instead, they're telling you it don't matter what they got going on. We're the biggest fight from one thirty to one forty, and we're doing an event. And that that's event, why you got to pay because... to see. No, no, you're right, but that's why they don't care because it is an I event. Know. You know, this Josh isn't Teller supremacy. Josh Teller ain't the man in the division. You guys got it all fucked up. Josh Teller I, is not no. known in the division. Josh Teller needs tank in the division. Josh Teller is mad that he accomplished what he accomplished, and he's not getting the attention of tank in the division or other people, and that's why he's out here disparaging. What do you mean? Sure. This is this I is agree. why he's saying what he's saying. Because he want to be in tank shoes. He want to jump out the Lamborghini. He want the, the dozens and dozens of media taking pictures. Come on, let's stop. It's no, an event. I, it's an event right. on Saturday. And, you know, whether or not you approve of the opponent, remember, it was an event when when DeZone gave uh, Canelo a 10-fight deal. And by sweetening the deal, they threw him an 11 free fight in New York for the for the for the for the regular champion in Rocky Fielding. So let's just stop. Let's just stop. Until you doing events, until you fighting in America, ain't about nothing. We see them numbers how they seriously change when AJ came from where he's at to America. Seriously change. And it was a, a completely different game too. You know he ain't performed quite right under this American sun. Is all we know. So well, let's, let's I mean, not I do it. think that there there is some you know uh, there is some intrigue to Saturday in terms of the pay per view, right? Um, last time out, it was a fairly weak card, right? This time, it's not a great card, but the co main event puts it over the top from the last one, right? It's a great one two punch. That said. Loma's on free TV, and not only on free TV, he's on the most watched sports network in America. So who what shows kind up to of... his fight? And this, no, and this is no disrespect, but who shows up to his fight? How many but tickets does he but, sell? But, okay, and and you're and that's fine. But but how many people are watching at home? You know what I'm saying? Like how many people are watching at home versus how many I, people are I buying the views? Because they're gonna say whatever they want, but the pay per views are gonna ultimately I don't dictate know. Last the success I in casual fans' eyes and the media, by the way. But isn't Terrence Crawford the biggest viewership person over there on free ESP? I mean, who's else doing Terrence numbers? I mean, what what numbers are you speaking of of of, of Loma? What what was the best? All viewer? I'm saying is that are you giving him credit for the Tia Fimo one? Because that was the spike with the Latino. Okay, and that's fine. But again, that same Latino crowd is going to have the opportunity to either pay to see Tank uh -huh. or tune in to see Loma. Masayoshi you know Nakatani? 
To, but 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 let you me tell you, bro. You know how many people at the bar just start sitting watching foosball on TV? You know how many times you just turn on TV? Oh, there ain't no so, game. Well, so it's now, on ESPN. So now, let me so turn now it to Sports Center. Assuming, Yo, it's so now you assuming that the bar owner? I'm not assuming. No, you're assuming that the bar no, owner true. who's been in business for however many years and knows that football and baseball and basketball are the American sports and that's what you put on television. You, you're you just going to say, oh, they're going to randomly have ESPN playing boxing. I, I don't know. I mean, tell me that you've been to a bar that isn't showing ESPN. And I mean, it doesn't matter what's on. I've absolutely been to Applebee's and, 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 and like uh, Buffalo Wild. Listen, well, now I'm, not fight. now I'm in right. Florida. Yeah, not during the fight. Now I'm in Florida. Not during the fight. Now I'm in Florida. No, no, no. Now I'm in Florida. It's completely different, you know. But in the in in that I, I want to say in that northern region, we don't we they don't put boxing. It like me and my girl would 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 tap each other. Like, oh shit, look, they got boxing on the TV, cause that's how rare it is. You and know? look, Ness, I'm gonna do you one better. Back when I used to go to the palace, heavy, heavy, palace. heavy, heavy. You got a palace. palace. You know the palace. The, the strip same. club. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, okay. look, just listen. It's, That's it's, 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 official. <laughs> right? So listen, I would go to the palace because this is an important story and I ain't going to keep it, but I was, you know what I mean? I, I didn't have a lot of time on my hands. I said, yo, this is how I got into boxing. I'm like, yo, I need to go somewhere where I could chill on my own time. I can't go to the city and run around. They got to know me because I was the only cat coming in there like, yo, Chloe, can you please turn this TV to Friday night night <laughs> so I can watch Kendall Holt and Tim Bradley and Providenikov and John cool. Thompson and, and, and uh, Pete at Rose, the remember? palace. At the palace. All I had to ask, like, like, damn, here comes on me and he's going to make the exactly. girls start dancing. <laughs> they're like, yo, this guy coming in watching boxing. What's wrong with this guy? You was using a strip club as a regular bar. They like, yo, you supposed I, to be looking that, at the women. I was 18. That was the only <laughs> bars we could get into was the strip club. I saw, listen, I saw Mayweather Gotti at a strip club, right? Called Aloha's. And at when that... Listen, when the when the co-main event came on, I can't remember who it was now. I was like, you want to dance? I'm like, no, no, girl, get on. Get, like, you, you in the way. Um, and, and and that was the last, by the way, that was the last boxing, big boxing fight I ever saw at a bar. Like, I couldn't do it anymore. You know, everybody trying to bet and talking and shit, whatever. But anyway, oh, listen, this is the point I want to make, okay? All I'm saying is that Premier Access TV takes a hit when it comes to cable TV, TV that everybody has, okay? Because I'll ask you, who's the bigger star, Charlo or Anui in America? We all agree Charlo, but guess what? Anui outdrew in ratings over Charlo. And you can say whatever about the opponent, you can say whatever you want, Hell yeah. but nobody and, and is if opponent. You, bro, and if you see, if you check on Fight Hype, in Nui videos, a Nui reactions or people reacting to to a Nui on fighthive.com videos, all double, triple, uh, Charlo, bro, crazy, it's crazy. Yeah. But that happens a lot with the Philippines too. You know, when Pacquiao fights or or um, Nonito, you know, they come out. Hey, but I think people also underestimate Tank, and I've been saying this for a couple years because. You know what I'm saying? Like, I kind of I kind of just observe it casually, man. Like, Tank has the youth. And I know some people are going to say streaming, streaming, streaming. But the youth also got disposable income in their 20s because they don't really have so much going on. They, they just, you know what I mean? Like, they will tune into this fight. And I kind of hear, like, I got some people in Atlanta that they kind of throw in events. And this is, you know, people in 29, 30, 31. They're throwing little events, going to clubs that's going to be hosting fight parties because it's Atlanta. That's you know what up. I'm saying? So it's it's a lot of um, social activity that's also going on in the city. Um, and, and it helps to be known to be associated with rappers and, and their baby mothers, man. It's always For a sure. good piece of marketing. And, and Tank has that. So even my wife know who Tank Davis is. You get what I'm saying? Oh, um, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Didn't Lil I Baby mean, come to his dressing room in the last fight with Leo? Or was that the fight before Y'all didn't see How that where Lil Baby came and he yeah. came with, uh, what's his name? I forgot what's his name. Pop? No. I forgot what that guy's name is, but they had both Gra came Grammy to his... winning artists. Grammy yes. Winning artists, yes. I mean, the top rappers in the game today. 
and they, you know, went to what 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 they say like in mafia movies when you go to like pay your respect. I forgot they used to call it something, right? When you would like shake the hand or kiss the hand or kiss, kiss the, the ring. ring, kiss the ring. You the man, thank you, dog. And so, uh, yo, listen, that's the way it looked to me. You know, it didn't look like friends dabbing up, right? It didn't look like a dude coming to give his blessings. It looked like dudes getting ready to kiss the ring because that's what Tank brings. Like, Tank brings that kind of yo, how did drawing Tank, power. How did Tank not respond to this, though? That's, that's... To I what? See him, I see him. I guess it'll, it'll drive him even more mad like he'll be more it'll be it'll be you know if you don't it's, it's, respond i guess i don't know it's, the, you it's the jay-z the jay-z and floyd mayweather approach if i say your name i'm making you famous i'm not even gonna mention you you're gonna struggle to get recognition those those guys mastered that like i'm not even gonna mention your name jim jones was beefing with jay-z for five years and wouldn't even say the guy's name mm, good point very good point. Jim Jones beefing with Jay Z and what? You crazy? He made this summer, man. That was a straight copy of Jay Z's. Uh, you know, uh, I held you down for six summers. He always was uh, dissing Jay. Jay the one ignored his ass in the. But that's what I'm saying. Jay ignored him and acted oh. like Jimmy didn't exist. And Jimmy oh, had a name okay. and a good backing, and he still right. couldn't get on Jay's radar. Yeah, nah. and I think Tank is taking that same approach. And Floyd has done that over the years. He won't even. Look how he did Pacquiao. That's why we got the fight so late. Pacquiao was tearing shit up, going to wars, and he's like, yeah, uh, 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 uh. Mm. Yo, but you know, I think the difference, though, it, it, it's like... Hold up, hold up, hold up, Go hold ahead. up, hold up, hold up. Hey, yo, man! Yo, you hear me? Yo, peace, 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 man. Yo, listen. I know you don't like having three guests on, but yo, with Jerry Washington, yo, he got to fight Mike Polite Coffee, man. Yo, he relevant right now, man. Yo, let's get it popping, man. Yo, we got the lady spider crab, you know, uh, Gabriella Fontora. Then you got El Bandera Roja, man. Yo. David Benavidez, man. Yo, that's three guests on the flagship show, man. Yo, let's get it popping, man. For real, man. Yo, shit is bananas, man. Yo, man, that's Heyman. Let's make you happy, man. Yo, for real, man. Yo. Yo. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Little promo. We got Gerald Washington, heavyweight, taking on Mike Polite Coffee on the flagship show tonight. We got the lady, Spider Crab, Gabriela Fondura on the show tonight. And we got the boogeyman, David Benavidez, Mr. Squared mm. Up himself. I, I've been asking it's, myself how I'm going to tell COVID him. Test. Like I said, Dan, do I throw it on other people and be like, yo, there's a lot of people that think you square up. But do I take the, the stand and be like, yo, I think you square up and I don't think you're going to beat Canelo. You know so what I'm are saying? you going to square up? And talk to him about squaring up. That's what it's about. Uh, yeah. I, I, I know I, you will, I, champ. I, 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 might, I don't I doubt don't you at all. <laughs> I don't know. I might. I might. Yo. Why is he so, like, oh, uh, so, I mean, say you square up too much. No, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm, like, yo, my, my, I'm like, yo, my co-host Mario is supposed to be the Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> my co-host Mario is supposed to be the Mexican, but... Um, <laughs> Yo, so so nobody ain't gonna say nothing about that that born imposter. I, I it was funny. You thought I it wasn't was born? gonna let the cat out the bag. Oh, <laughs> yo, that's funny as hell. He said, I don't know. Uh, he, he did a good impression. Oh, he, he, he got King Born to call in. <laughs> 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 yo, but that was a dope promo, man. We got Washington, uh, Lady Spider Crab, uh, Gabriela Fondora, the 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 sister of. Uh, yeah, the yeah, towering Fundora. inferno, Sebastian Fundora, and then we also are going to have who's the third guest? I said, shoot, you said Mike ben Blake. Uh, no, no, we getting his oh, opponent. Yeah, we get Benavidez. Benavidez is late too at nine p.m. Let me double check, make sure I put the post out for everybody. If you want to ask a question, 
to those guests you can i, I think i gotta you know do Gerald. Saw. yeah i gotta do gerald washington i see uh yeah, da david I is didn't... there and gabriella is there i gotta do gerald washington so we got El Gallo negro gerald washington man or black skin right there or uh yo i love gerald washington i've always been a fan of his like you know i'm not gonna lie i'm rocking with mike you know what I'm saying? Because he's he's TBV fan. But, yo, that's a tough fight for me to to not just, like, pick, but, like, to have to watch. Because, yo, I hate seeing Gerald Washington lose. I don't know what it is, but I just don't like it. Like, wow. I miss good people. Yeah. So they're going to be well, on at the same it's time. it's the big show. No, why do you keep confusing that? Mike Polite is not on. I just mentioned that Gerald is the opponent of Mike. Oh, my bad. You said I, well, I, it's thought the big I was getting excited. Show. I thought we was going to have like another um, virtual press conference. Yo, so that was Brandon FYI with the Fit King born impression. That was dope, right? Was it? Yeah, yeah it was good. I didn't recognize him. <laughs> did a good job. He even got like, uh, what did you say the other day? I mean, the phonetics. He had like the whole, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't just. Yeah, his bananas. His yeah, bananas. yes, exactly. His banana, like he did it perfect. That was dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, man, uh, <laughs> yo, people, are hilarious. Yo, uh, you want to open up the phone lines, or should we make some 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 predictions here? Like, are we saving that for flagship? What we talking about? Uh, um, check any super chats, and I guess we. Uh, oh yeah, oh, let's see. Or I maybe do the prediction so that so tonight's show don't get crowded with interviews. I don't know how y'all feel about that. That's true. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, well, you're right, right? I, he is right. We got my Jimbe with a super chat that says, "Where is this generation's Friday night fights?" For real. I miss it, my Jimbe. I miss it. I Yo, miss listen, it. the palace, the palace. Yeah. They always Friday had it on. Fights, Chloe had my Jack and Gingers. <laughs> I told him I was tipping. What well, you know, I wasn't. I wasn't tipping. I was pimping, and I kept it smooth. They respected me. I became a regular, and that was just a part of my life where I, I couldn't hang out and, and box. And I, I got to dive in. That was my Chad Dawson days, man. When I was heavy, you know what I'm saying? Heavy on that Chad Dawson, bro. Masterful, masterful star. artist. Oh yeah. That's Definitely. like when Ness when Ness fell in with Gabe and uh and Danny like that. Like like Chad Dawson brought me on. I know Ness and Danny brought right. you on. Yeah. I mean Gabe, Gabe and Danny. Yep, yep. Gabe, man. Yeah. Shout out to Gabe. Big win. Big win. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Even if you're in that chat hating the way, uh, it's all good, <laughs> man. It's all good. I am good. Uh yeah, man. We got a lot baking, man. I, I, you know, love this community. You understand? Shout out to James Payne Lethal. Uh, you know. Yo, and if you missed Border Wars yesterday, four, four hour show, go back and check it out. One of the best, um, too, man. People finally are understanding what promotion is. You know, and yo, have, everybody got every, into it. Like, having everybody on the screen also was very good. That was dope. That was super dope. I love Pioneer that. Pioneered the virtual presses. TBV pioneered yes. the virtual presses. You're right. You're definitely right. Um, but yeah, man, it was just exciting to see like JB and like Show Kid have this organic fight like pop up, and it was like they've been planning to fight the whole time. You know what I mean? Like they, like they must have been writing shit. They must have known they were fighting because they had shit way too fast. I was like, yo, these dudes are quick witted. It was cool to see um, Jose, too. You know, it was, it was a good show. Go back and Yeah, man. Shout out to you, out. man. Shout out to you bringing back an alumni, a big name. You know, uh, th there was a lot of, lot of shit talking. But anyway, man, go ahead on back and uh, go ahead on back and uh, do your thing. Yo, shout out to Canadian Jose, yo. You uh, you stole my son's shirt. He's five years old now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and I got the show where you promised it. I, you know, it's all love. Nice. Like, oh, I got you, man. Oh, congratulations. My son was He's... still shitting by then. Man. <laughs> <laughs> He's waiting to give him his graduation gift. Yeah, exactly. Shit. You have to buy him a Honda. Yeah. <laughs> yo, man. Yeah. Dude. Yo, but listen, I'll I'll make my picks right now. I don't care. I'll make Go my picks. It. Listen, I'm picking. What do you said? Tank and Loma. Yeah, yeah. I'm picking Lomachenko. 
over mm-hmm. Nakatani. I think that Loma's still one of the best on the planet. You know, he just happened to lose to a dude who's better. Like, there's no shame in that. You know, when the two fight, the two best in the world fight, you know, at a specific weight class, that's what happens. Somebody loses. Um, Somebody and, got uh, yo, I'm a, I'm a do it. I'm just, I'm going to do it. I'm picking what? Mario Barrios. Fuck it. I don't Ooh. care. I'm going to pick Mario Barrios. I'm maybe the only one. How's the Mexican anthems go? Uh, I don't know. I I know it is like that. I I don't know the word, but like, come on, Mario. Yeah, you supposed to like, come on, man. I just know you got you got you got to put it right here. This is how they do it right here. You are a Texican. Texican. That's exactly what it is. If I if if somebody could like give me like the first three, I would remember how it goes. Mexicanos el grito de guerra, el acero es piedra. Either. There you go. Yeah, that's something not, like that. that. that it's something like that. Right. That sound about right. That sound about right. Yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna go the other way though, man. I'm going with Nakatani. You wanna know why? Woo! Nice. Yeah, I'm bugging. Now you I don't bugging. think you are. Now you ain't bugging. Let me tell you why you ain't bugging. Because as Mario said, he's going with Barrios. And when you said you're going with Nakatani, I'm on mybookie.ag and I put that in a parlay. $10 makes you $382 if you do that parlay. If you do Barrios money line and you do Nakatani money line and they both upset the Apple card, $10 makes you your car payment. I mean, unless For you a real. baller, unless you got a BMW, my bad. So, 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 I mean, is it like something specific you see with their two styles, or do you think Loma's just kind of passed it and I'm Nakatani's so... coming into well, momentum? Well, I mean, ten dollars is worth on Nakatani regardless because he's a natural hundred and thirty-five pounder, and Loma's just sure. a little dude. He's just a little absolutely one hundred percent. But I just didn't know if he saw. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. And I'm and I'm glad you asked because I think that not only is he the naturally smaller guy. I think Nakatani is a dog. Puncher. He and a pun- Loma he is a punch. Fuck yeah. Yeah, and Loma's not hurting him no matter how fast it's gonna have to be um he, he's gonna have to be moving all night. And Nakatani is zombie style coming forward and he's gonna be punching. And I just think that what Loma's been through, um, allegedly if that shoulder is or was or was whatever it is, he's gonna have to be a hundred percent ready. This ain't no tune up, this ain't no warm up. And by the way, I done ate at top rank uh, restaurant before, so the way I see it is, Bob come in there and this is his mukbang. So which, whichever the people like, that's what he's serving. He's not really Damn. as invested in Loma as everybody think. This Bruh. is fair is as fair as to him as it is to me or anybody else that's a boxing enthusiast. I mean, you tripping. I know you write these metaphors down the night before. You too good at that shit. That shit was too fast. Yo, that's exactly what it is. That shit is a mukbang video, and he like. Whoever you, whoever wins, that's the one I wanted y'all to give y'all. Like I was promoting that guy the whole time. Like you, absolutely you got right. White Castle and Bonchon and mix what? it up with whatever, bro. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, you right, you right. No, that's that's a good ass point. But um, yeah, I don't think you're tripping. Honestly, I, I'm picking Loma because a, I like Loma, and b, I think he is as good as. You know, everybody thought he was. I just think, like I said, he lost somebody who's better. You know, there's no shame in that. But but to add to your point, because everything you said is 100% true and what Nessa was true, the dangerous thing about Nakatani is that he's a dude that's never really out of the fight. Like, you could be beating him down for three, four, five, six rounds, and that dude's still in the fight. He's still fighting. He's still coming forward. You said zombie style. Yeah. Perfectly said. Perfect description. Um. Yeah, so that's what's dangerous to me for, for, for Loma, but... I'm just going to say this, man. If you go to mybookie.ag, don't forget to use uh, code BETTBV when you're making a bet. And $10 on Nakatani is 65 $10. Really? You got to do that. $20 you makes you 120-something yes. bucks. Plus your 20 back. Now, don't Plus- forget... Don't forget, if you do, if, if somehow you're crazy enough to do Mario's bet, who's Mexican, then, and that's why I thank you, my love, and that's why he's doing it. But if you put Barrios on mybookie.ag and use bet TBV code, $10 mm. on a parlay is $290, bro. 
That's like yo. I'm, that's I'm a ten dollars worth it. Though. Listen, <laughs> listen. If you pick, smoke, not... it, all right. This is how we. This is how I like to do things, right? Like if if you're a guy that smokes cigarettes, that's a pack of cigarettes. Has mm -hmm. your cigarettes this year ever given you, you know, no three hundred times what you've no spent? No. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, and again, this is definitely a far-fetched bet but you can take out barrios i don't feel as confidently about barrios as as mario does i think that nakatani stands a chance on his own he gave he gave tio trouble tio is the one that beat vasil you understand it's not like he beat tio so i don't know i think the pressure's on the smaller lomachenko um you know peldraza put hands on him Vasil put hands on him, and those are taller fighters. We're just thinking about height and reach, you know. We gotta. This is this is a ten dollar bet on 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 my Nakatani is not. You're not really gambling, you know. No. You're not it's really one less gambling. drink. It's one less drink than you go out. One less beer. Like, if, yeah, if you're if you're if you drink alcohol, you know, at a bar, you know, it costs about eight to seven dollars, six, seven, eight dollars, depending on what city and state you're in, you know. If you're in a small, yep. if you're you're in Watertown, Wisconsin, the drinks are cheap, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, wait, but you 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 stunting, right? A carton of cigarettes don't cost three hundred dollars, right? A carton of cigarettes is ten dollars, and you're spending ten dollars. Not a carton, a a fucking oh a pack. Yeah, I'm I mean, sorry. Yeah. You if, you smoke, if you smoke, if you smoke Newports, if you smoke Newports, depending on the state you live in, that shit is more than ten dollars. If you smoke Newports, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen dollars of in New York. Exactly. In Jersey, Bro, they that's spot. crazy. I used to work when I was in college. I worked at a convenience store, right at my dad's, and uh, yo, Newports were not that expensive back then. Neither were, neither were Marbles, you know, Camels. None of them. Yo, I remember when they were like four dollars in my state. Like let, I was let me selling for four dollars for real. Give me your, um, you know, your, your your guess on what you think Lomachenko is. A minus in terms of favorite in this fight. How big of a favorite you think they got him in the bookies, the betting lines? Three forty. And you, I mean? Oh, I don't, I don't even know. Like I'm a, I'm the sorest loser minus, ever. He's a minus twelve hundred. I'm just gonna say. Shut the fuck up. Minus twelve hundred. Why, why do you give that reaction? What happened? Talk to us. Minus twelve hundred. Educate us. Educate the people that don't know you. Why you're reacting this way? Well, that's making him a 12 to 1 favorite, meaning that he is such a favorite that somebody would say, yo, I'll bet you $100. But if my guy wins, which is I'm all, which is Loma, you know, no, I'll, you're doing it I have wrong. to put up. No, no, I'm sorry. I'll bet you $1,200. <laughs> but if my guy Loma wins, you only got to give me 100 back. That's what they're saying. They're saying, this is me and Amin. Amin's going for Nakatani and we're going to bet. And I'm Loma, right? I'm going for Loma. I'm going to say, Amin, let's bet. I'm going to bet you $1,200, okay? But if but if, but if, if my guy wins, you only got to pay me $100. Does that sound like a fair deal? Like, that's what that is. That's, yo, they're tripping. Fair for me? That's why the, I'm going to put a 50 on Nakatani. For I'm real? Oh, wait, what's Nakatani at plus, though? Cause I know he ain't no damn my, my I know he ain't a plus twelve hundred. There ain't no way. Hey, hey Morris, I'm gonna get a little less mouth out, and I'm gonna go ahead and, um, <laughs> and put that fifty on it. Yeah, so, 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 right. so, so let me get this straight, Mario. Do you think that he's too much of a favorite? Way, oh yeah, I would say the best would have been like six hundred. That would have been to me still a little higher. I just think that I think I'm I have to disagree and stop you that I think it's because you're not frequenting the betting lines on a weekly basis. That's um, true. I'm pretty sure we can Google search and find Lomachenko as big as a minus five thousand for some other fights. Um and that's sure. what I wanna bring up that minus twelve hundred when I've seen him a minus five thousand in some of his other fights. Someone's respecting Nakatani is all I'm saying. Think about it. Uh, Andy Ruiz was a minus 12 to 1600, depending what site, meaning you could go to my DraftKings and find them at for 1200 minus 1200 or come to mybookie.ag, use that code bet TBV and find them at a 16 
a hundred. You know, uh, plus rather, those are plus for Andy. He was an underdog. Um, yeah. So Maka, Nakatani is only a plus six fifty. Again, they think he has more probability of winning than they thought Andy had at the time of beating AJ. Is all I'm showing. Like. There are people that believe Nakatani can win, and and not and it's not just guys like me. It's people in the betting game, and that's why he's a plus six fifty and not a fucking you know plus sixteen hundred yeah, or 1600. a thousand or anything crazy like that. Um, they respect him a little bit. Yeah, definitely. That's what that suggests. I mean, I guess if you look at it from that perspective, which is very reasonable perspective to look at it you're right lomachenko was coming in at way bigger um you know favorites than that you know his that minus money was i mean you had to bet a lot to make any sort of real money on a lomachenko fight but you're right it that it reflects upon his loss for sure but i think it also reflects upon the um the opponent and and Nakatani has momentum heading into this fight. You know that's the one thing I think really? that people don't understand. Yeah, for sure. When's the last Nakatani time he fought? Verdejo. Oh, that is like at least two, three months ago. You think? Oh no. That's yeah, and, and remember he whooped Verdejo. It was he he came back. You know and, and ended up whooping on Verdejo with showing that that big resiliency. And I don't yep. think Lomo had can yeah, go. Yeah, but that Verdejo deep. put his ass down. And that, I know, did. and that's what I'm. And saying. he was winning that fight. I don't. I don't think Loma got that resiliency. I think that fight says to me, if it came down to it, and, and each fighter had to go down once, or they mm -hmm. had to trade them kind of blows. I'm not even sure if Loma has a blow to trade, let alone get up more than once from it. That's very astute reasoning. I, just, I, I think you're right. I just want Nakatani to, to fight. Right. I want Nakatani to fight hard. He has to fight hard. Listen, you have to like active, uh, like like uh, again, Salido. Or like ugly, like yes, like, okay, like no, Salido. not Sorry. ugly like Salido. Just active, uh, many like punches, constantly... many punches, many. Got it. Like don't give him the ability to dictate the pace. You must control the pace to beat Loma. Um, you know, Tio. He was able to do it from a counter punching ability. He was able to wait and be a little more patient because he's he's more polished. Nakatani's not that. Even though Nakatani even gave Tio problems, you know. Yeah. Um, but I think that was more height and range. Like he needed a few rounds to find a way to get in on a taller man. Um, I like this fight, and ten dollars ain't a knot, man. Just remember. If you go to mybookie.ag and you drop the code BETTBV or you want the direct link so that you're sure you're, you're helping TBV, uh, hit me up and I'll send it to you. I've been sending it to a few people. And um, yeah, when you win, you you, you come back and you you throw me a, a five spot or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Buy me a cup of coffee because I'm telling you, I like that as a bet. And again, it's a bet. It's not a prediction. We're not making a prediction. It's a good, safe bet. And again, how do you value safe bets? You know, 10 bucks, pack of cigarettes if you're a smoker. You know? Sure. Nice That's little, what, nice low, little, low risk, high reward, right? Yeah. yeah. Listen, Earth. I actually I actually do, do $2 bets. Like, it, And I'm going to show you. If you do Barrios Nakatani, $2. Look at this. $2. You still wait. T wow, twenty makes you five hundred and eighty. You better give me at least a hundred if you do the twenty parlay and make five eighty. I want at least twenty. Fuck out of here. But uh, I mean a hundred. <laughs> I said a hundred. Uh, but if you bet two dollars on my parlay, you make fifty eight. You know what I'm saying? You can't go wrong with that. That's good. In the words of King Born. You must say heard me. You hear me? <laughs> I'm putting fifty on it. Ness, putting the fifty on it. 50 on Yo. no 50 on a parlay, you're gonna be rich, man. That's too much. For real. I'm putting 50 on Nakatani for sure, bro. Oh, Yo, wow. and I just wanna reiterate that my pick is not a suggestion. <laughs> I'm not telling anybody to bet. Like, please don't like I 
I'll be honest. Like wow. I'm going with my heart. I'm going with my heart, Texas. You know, and, and Mario's a guy that I've covered since yo, since he was in the amateurs. I've been watching this kid fight. Mm. Okay, I, I've known him since he was like 12 years old. You know what I'm saying? Like he's just We've been covering him since before he got with Virgil when his dad yes, was his trainer. When his dad was still his trainer. Yo, like that was man, that was some time ago and 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 so, you know, it, my heart's there with him at the same time my wallet's not. Or at least I don't want your wallet to be based on my pick, you know what I'm saying? But the Nakatani bet is definitely a bet that I might even consider doing myself. Um even though I picked Loma that's a to me. I don't think it's a 50-50 fight at all, <laughs> but it's a it's definitely live. He's a lot. It's live money. Yo, somebody said in the words of Teddy Atlas, your bookie's gonna send you a Christmas card this year. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Yo, but listen again. It's about risk and value. Like yo, fifty dollars on that on that crazy parlay, and yes, it's crazy because Mario wants to put Mario Barrios in there. No one is expecting Barrios to be tank, but no one was expecting Andy to do it. So again, fifty dollars on Barrios and Nakatani. Mario, can you give me one guess? Fifty dollars on Nakatani. Fifty on Nakatani and Barrios to get the win money line. What do you think? Uh, Your payout is going to be 1100 900 Very close with the 11 1450 plus, plus your 50 back. That's a mortgage. Yo, that's... That's a mortgage unless you live in deal. Cali. If you in Cali, that ain't no mortgage. That's like that's like your backyard. <laughs> Brotherhood's a hater. You said that's 50 down the drain. <laughs> yeah, I seen that. I seen that. That's messed Yo, up. But, Listen, but, I, but let me tell you but, something. You know but let me tell you that something. Yes, that Go ahead. I was just going to say this. Brotherhood would also have told us it would have been 50 down the drain on Andy and on Buster Douglas and, and on, on every Rizzato. other. And, and on Gabe Rosado. Yes. On every other upset. Now, that's I why think. it's an upset. And that's why only a few people make money on the upset because Word. they take the risk. And guess what? Scare money. Don't, don't make, make no money. money. That's the first Lesson I learned shooting right. craps in middle school. Scare money don't make money. Just like scare fighters don't get no legacy in border wars, man. Word. Stop, stop being a little peeping time from the outside looking in. Go ahead and sign up, man. Test yourself. Be great. Let me go ahead and put the link. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna hijack the show with border wars. I'm gonna just put the link in the live chat so you can listen to the playback. You know what I'm saying? Get your right, the life right. Get your life right. But anyway, uh, we got three guests today. And if you become a Patreon, you can ask Gerald Washington a question. American heavyweight, who's going to be taking on another undefeated American heavyweight, Michael Polite Coffee, July 31st, live in Newark, New Jersey at the Prudential Center. Shout out to Mike Coffee getting his first opportunity to main event a show in his eastern region, man. So... Um, just another, you know, another uh, sign of Marshall Kaufman and Al Heyman uh, seeing, uh, you know, the, the possibilities in Mike Polite Coffee. Uh, I think I'm never going to be able to get rid of the polite. He wants to drop the polite. It's like, I've, I've been using it so long. It's like part of the name. I like it. Yeah. Like that's dope. To me, it's like, uh, what's the word? I mean, what's the word when it's like a, like a polite fighter, like a, like a clean plumber. I, that's stupid. I, I'm not as good as the metaphors as I mean. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, fuck, I forget what it's called, but like, like, um, ju like a juxtaposition, like a, yeah, yeah like, if you, like, hot, like if you a plumber, how you going to be clean? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So like, that's what it is for me. You know what I mean? It's like polite. I remember even telling my dad, uh. I was I had just come back from a show that we had Mike on, and uh, he asked me who was on, and I said, "Oh, Mike Polite Coffee." He's like, his last he didn't even go to the last name. Like his last name's Coffee. He was like Polite. I was like, "Yeah, that's his name." So you know, it's something that stands out. But you know, my man, this is America. My man got every right. Oxymoron. Thank you, my guy. You the you man know for that. If he and Mario, if he really wanted to do some marketing. He he dropped the coffee and changed his name to Michael Rude Boy Polite. You know what I'm saying? He from Brooklyn Not anyway. Oh, dope, yo. 
Come on, man. Marketing, that's man. Good. Marketing. Hell Let's market yeah. it. That's Come holler at us over at TBV. We got some ideas. <laughs> we got some pitch, ideas for y'all. For real, man. We out here working, man. Listen, uh, Coach Myers, I see you, champ. I'm getting that together for you right now. The, the, go ahead and drop your question for the other two. We got uh, Gabriela Fondura, the sister professional fighter as well, and she is the sister of um, the spider crab, as our good friend King Bourne would say, of the towering inferno, Sebastian Fondora. King Bourne, I want to see a question there from you. All that love you have for the Fondora family, go ahead and put a question in there uh, and, and, and show them that love. Um... Yo, uh, by the way, I I know this is not the show for this. Yo, is Go Amin ahead. on the line? Who? I mean, left. He left. Damn. No, no, no. I'm here. Yo, because I'm in the East Coast, man. Oh, I, I didn't uh, know what you But Mario, I guess you're the more suited uh, suited to answer this, right? I mean, in the East Coast, gaming is like, like, like if he's gaming me, he fucking fake. He like playing me or faking me or trying to like yeah. is a is a, is a, is a, is a scam. He's scheming. Yeah, yeah he's scheming. He trying to yeah, I've heard me. that. What's get? Oh, that's how. That's what it means in Texas too. I've heard that in hip hop. Like in in there was this movie with Fat Joe and uh, damn, I forgot who else. It was actually Fat a dope Joe and Mac Ten. Yes, dog. How the fuck did you know that? I know everything oh, about nothing, baby. How did you mind, know? Never mind, no, never, no, that's never not mind. you knowing facts. That's you knowing what I was thinking in my head. Like, cause Fat Joe's been in a few movies. Like, yo, I'm damn. Now I want to see that movie. Shit, what was that called? Do you remember? Uh, yeah, it's called th thicker, thicker than water. Thicker, thicker than, than water, dog. Like no, it is thicker than water. I think. Uh. That was a good ass movie. Damn, I forgot the whole point I was making because I got really excited that you knew. I was like, "This is gonna be the old oxymoron thing." I couldn't even no, think about of it. gaming, like that term. Yeah, like gaming. Yeah, gaming. yeah. They, they, they. I remember they used that in in that in that um, in nah, that movie. Well, well, it's another, it's another, it's another term. I thought because you again, see, I'm East like Coast. Play games. I, I'm East Coast, so I thought I thought my man was trying to say like I played him out and said like, "Yo, you was gaming me and shit." In Miami, I'm like, gaming. So before I responded, I went to ya. And then while receiving your answers, he followed up with like, you know, you put me on game about the podcast and I would like to meet with you at um, uh, at Javante's yeah. Fight Week. I've never so heard it used like yeah, that, Yeah, me though. neither. That's why I'm yeah. like, oh, champ, what yeah. you mean? I don't be I've heard put you on game. Yeah. But, but yeah I heard yeah, that. Yeah. I never I heard, heard the that. shortened version of that. I heard like, that. Like, look, 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 let me see. Let me see. I'm going to read it to you. He's like, I'm like, whoa, that sounds like you got an issue with me, champion. Word. Uh, he said, bro, we need to jump on a call. I know you was gaming me. And we need to swap platforms. Are oh, you in Atlanta for this week? I'm like, gaming you, dog? What are you talking about? I don't know what that even mean out here. I'm old head, man. But, I got blog uh, talk, by the way. Yeah, but, but no, then no, he came no. You're right. And, you then, right. He, then he came back and said, I appreciate all the game you gave me, bro. So I'm like, gotcha. why? That I'm used to. You know, you young yeah, whippersnappers yeah. trying to get me confused out here, man. What's up with all that? <laughs> I mean, yeah, how old word. is you? I'm 30. I'll be 40 this year, bro. How old are you? How old are you? I'll be 40 in August, bro. Oh, shit. You in the 40 and older club. Okay. Yeah, so I was right. The, that that hot seat fight is probably the the right fight. Just just making sure. Because you got the... you. I'm going great, too, though. I I started with two on the chin. This is about to overtake like yours now. I wake up every day to a new one and shit. Yo, man. It's either I a mean, lot of wisdom, well, these kids or my wife. I don't know, man. <laughs> I mean, we're well, though. Appreciate it, brother. You know what? It's like when we talk about, like, the youth in boxing, again, we kind of, like, boxing give us our youth because we otherwise probably wouldn't be engaged in any sort of physical fitness if it wasn't for boxing, you know? Even with the intent of being prepared for a fight, you know? Um, the young whippersnappers, you know, um, I, I think they sometimes do a, a better job of staying closer to the sports they love. Like, them rappers, they stay playing ball and shit like that. But boxing is really the old man's game, man. It's really for us. Yo, let me tell you something. There's a strong possibility. Like, 
Monday. There's a strong pot. I guess not. It's not a strong possibility. It's too late because because Mayweather Promotions sent the email too late. If I would have been in in Atlanta sooner, I probably could have sparred Rick Ross. They trying to set me up though. I need to get back in the gym. You were being for real when you said that. What the fuck? Yeah, I told you I don't. Oh, yeah. I thought you were clowning. What nah. the fuck? <laughs> Next, I'm out that. here working. Oh, 2021 shit. about to be. So huge. he really asked you, his trainer? Absolutely. And then, what'd you say? I Damn, said what I, I told literally you. I said. don't even remember what you said now because I thought you were joking that whole time. No, I said yes, absolutely. But I need to know when. And it's on some like, yo, he don't really be telling me. So it's like. He'll, uh, yeah. he'll, he'll give me 24 hours and it's like damn bro I'm all the way in Florida but okay. it's worth it for me hell yeah but it's is. also hell like you... it's also like I'm not training so you know what I'm saying he's still a big bro you beating Rick Ross I think without training brother dog. brother Come let on. me tell you something I was training, I'm not saying I was training when I got in there with polite coffee and he destroyed me and he but wasn't that's even like coffee. And he that's wasn't like coffee. Yeah, but listen, he wasn't even not, playing though. He wasn't Nash, even like. Me, I mean, he wasn't even. Me. He Ross, wasn't even being serious. So it's like. Yo, you, you, but you, 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 the Jake Paul of podcasting. And I mean that respectfully. You got the most experience of hosts. So yeah, when you step in there against a novice, it don't matter how long Rick been training. Yeah. Rick ain't never been in there between them ropes. Nah, for yes, no round. They got him sparring. That's what it is. That's why. Yeah, but look. I ain't never seen him in there with anybody. Yeah, but you've been in fights. Right, that right, fights. Right. That's uh, why. Look, look, they, the they, they stepped look at, in him look up. At, look at Chad Johnson and the cat he just fought. I There's hear a difference you, but between they, being listen, in a fight. I hear you, but they obviously working on this. They stepping him up now. That's why. That's why he reached out. He's like, yeah, yeah we looking for like you know people he could spar with. There's like. You know, don't have uh, amateur fights or just one or two. You know what I'm saying? So they Bro, obviously the, working on him, man. But yeah, you no, the Mike Polite though is what exactly, I'm saying. You coming exactly. in there like, 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 that's and that's respect. Saying. But that's what boxing teach you. And I told y'all, boxing teach you to treat everybody like they got the potential to do something to you. So you yes. have to be prepared. So I get what you're saying, but as a spectator, I would look at it and say, well, I don't care how long you've been sparring. Like to me, it don't matter how long I've been training. I gotta get more sparring. I think the only good thing is like he's not Mike Coffee. So 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 um I will be more like feeling myself and 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 more focused on my own game plan. Sure. But I also ain't been in the ring since I ain't been in the gym. Fuck the ring, bro. Since like May 13th. I'm just on a vacation after that, that ain't, shit. I mean, that ain't nothing like, not listen, like I'm going to tell about. you. Bro, that's I over bet a you, month no, of no, no. eating cereal at 10 at night. I'm on some fat boy nah, shit nah, right nah, now. But you actually I gotta have get back fought at dudes. It. Listen, you've actually sparred dudes and fought dudes that wanted to beat you up, right? I don't think, like, they might be stepping Rick up, but let's be real. Every person that he's in there with is like either a fighter trying to get put on right and trying to get the recognition or there are other random dudes that are like oh, it's rick ross like i know that's not going to be your thing like for you the big achievement would be to have some great footage right that's what yeah, you I'm want not, i'm not even trying to beat him you ain't gonna be starstruck i ain't trying to beat him like... up and i ain't trying to get beat up and people exactly. keep saying which rick ross what the hell i look like getting in there with rick ross that's older than me man the We're rapper man <laughs> The rapper, and look, man. Who else? And look, the fuck? and look. Shout, shout out to Rick Ross. Right, right. Shout out to Rick Ross. No, shout apparently out. he got the bug like us. Shout out to Hell Rick yeah. Rose, oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Shout he out lost to, some weight too doing it. Shout out to Rose for that. But uh, shout out to his trainer, man, uh, for being a listener of the show. And just again, shout out to this podcast. Shout out to every single listener because if you guys wouldn't have been listening, the the, the buzz don't get out. And you know, Rick Ross. The rapper's trainer doesn't listen to the show, doesn't become a fan, doesn't DM me, doesn't ask me to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, or, it's time, man. We put a lot of sweat and equity in. You know, I feel bad for those that did, that couldn't stick around the long, hard road, but it, it, it's never straight. It's never straight. It's always weavy. There's forks in the road, you know, and 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 when you get to that finish line, it's gonna be good. And this twenty, I'm telling you, twenty twenty one is is just is just flourishing, man. And I'm so excited to see what else comes. Shout out to George Monterey. Having it fast. The, shout out to George Monterey, man, the future mayor of Watertown, Wisconsin. If you are a Watertown, Wisconsin native, do not forget 
to, uh, you know, go ahead and vote in April, man. He's going out for mayor. Let's make him the mayor. If they brought TBV to Watertown, what you think, uh, what else they going to do? You know what I mean? So, mm. yeah, man. Let, let me put something else in the universe. On the undercard, well, I, I'm, I'm maybe not an undercard, but, you know, I seen Drake on the pads, man. Um Ooh. I like to get in there with with, with the lover boy. I like. And I'm, I, I mean, he's like, like your height, right? He's tall, or no? Drake is Drake. Ain't no smug. Listen, man. I mean it. Like Drake, he got the bug like us. He's getting older. He ain't necessarily exactly. a basketball dude for and the, the boxing is it. So if Ness is far and Rose, Drake, holler at me, bro. Let me get a little. Let me get some work. Let's get some work together. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure when it comes to sparring, we might be equal. If not, you know, mm -hmm. holler at me. I'll take the a short rapper who who's 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 still out there. Uh, Bushwick Bill died, right? Um, let me see, Lil Wayne. I'll take Lil Wayne. We 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 on the road nah, to like rapper versus podcast. Nah, nah. For my UK brethren, man, we gonna throw you in there with Little Man, Mario. We gonna throw you in there with Little Man. <laughs> yo, Shout out to Hackney. Good. Shout out East London. Word, word, yo. That's crazy, bro. Listen, oh man, we we headed to some crazy places. Like this is happening fast. Like the stuff that's happened over the last month, yo, it is. Yo, he put he put in everything that, and that's what I'm saying. See, I can't just go over there on some bullshit, cause he trying hard. He so might, what? what to watch get you to go? Watch the screen. Watch the screen. No, I'm talking about Rose punching hard in his oh, pad work. So you know, if he if nah, he, he ain't gonna fuck around. Hell yeah, he catch you. He could sleep you by mistake. He a heavyweight, man. He a heavyweight. <laughs> I ain't gonna do it. It's just something in my life. <laughs> Yo, they said he told Cool said Lil Uzi Vert. I can fight him. What are you like five three? Yeah, yeah. Lil Uzi got balls though, man. That's a hey, good yo, one. This, hey yo, this bitch fab. I can't wait to get that <laughs> drop and shit. Yo, that's gonna be nuts, bro. Man, what the hell? Ness is still ain't popped up. It will. Oh, I'm behind. There it is. Always and forever. Yo, he got my he got my hand wraps. Mm -hmm. Them hand wraps look busted. He tripping out here being Rick Ross, doing pad work and flip flops. And, 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 I know. I, and, was, I thought he was wearing <laughs> and rusty, shoes. And rusty hand wraps. Come on, let's get it together. Unless he was on tour and he just so hungry, he said, "Yo, I keep some spare." No, shit that's in what the it trunk, be. You know? That's what it be. Listen, the trainer told me, man. He just he just calls him and be like, "Yo, let's get some work." So he he loving this shit. I know people talking about him and me on Border Wars. No way. That dude probably getting ready to do some celebrity shit. Like he, think so, man. I mean, fifty cent. He, he's always in the universe. He's always been a boxing fan. He's goes to so many fights. He already mingles with Broner, and I mean, who doesn't he fuck with in the boxing world? Like, I don't know. Maybe he's getting the bug bug. No, it's good no? for boxing. That's good for the sport. Let I me, like that. Let me go to some of these callers, man. Um, I was laughing. They said for me to fight Gary Coleman. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's the one that be like, uh, what you talking about, Willis? Short as hell, man, yeah, the, Will, yeah. The world don't move to the beat of just one drum, man. Yeah, that's right, my yeah. man. Yo, I used to watch this shit on Nick at Night. Jeez. Uh, let me see. Super chat, super chats. Who we got? We going? Oh, super chats. All right, thank you, thank you, my friend, thank you. Yeah, man, but hopefully I get the call. I think I'm going to have to sacrifice myself because, like, you think about when I went in there with Porter, I never went in the ring. I never trained for boxing. That was my first time, you know, putting a mouth guard in my mouth for boxing other than football, other than Pop Warner football and high school football. So it's like, you know, I ain't do too bad. Plus, I took a dive, you know, when shit hit the fan and I landed that right hand, I seen him get mad. I was like, fuck it, it's time to go down. <laughs> Yo, and, and and look, look at what this man just said. When I was in there with Sean Porter, when I was in there with Michael Coffey, it's just you know, it's, it's different from some folks, man. I, I know you. I know you're not an arrogant brother, but I have to say it for you. I'm gonna say it for you. Well, shout out to Dion Nicholson, man, because that work was great as hell. It was great, man. I, I love that time. He, he 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 made me freaking sweat, bro. Like he's the type of dude that keeps pressure on you so much it's non-stop and it's that mental pressure like that's the that's the issue of dealing with someone that's a, a on a higher level they don't need to throw punches to get you tired and you see that's what canelo does sometimes you can see that in a year them fight he would just take a step 
keep following Yeardum, so to speak, cutting the ring off, and, and, and you know, it, it made Yeardum tired, you know, tense up and all that. But we got Ken Stone. He says, let's get this W, Loma, and get the T.O. rematch. Let's hope Barrio shocks the world and gets the true champ at 140, Josh Chella, after that. Mm. There you go. There you go. Put that bet on it, man. Don't forget. Put that, Put that bet money. on it. Because if you're going to hope, if you're going to root for Barrios, then what's wrong with putting 5 or $10 on it and make some money? That's that's actually, yeah, you're right. You know? You rooting for him, then might as exactly. well. Might it makes well the celebrate. fight. Oh, I shouldn't say it like that, but Rich Mendez on the next Super Chat says, if Manny Pacquiao beats Spence, they should scrap the welterweight division in Full. It what? means that everyone stinks in that division. I don't think that that's what it means. Yeah. I think it means that Manny Pacquiao is out of this world. Exactly. Like, out of this and world, think about the man. era that we lived in that we got to see Floyd and Manny Pacquiao at the same time. Like we are truly blessed. We are. Like, like the same type of blessed that the dudes that got to see Ali and Frazier and everybody in the same division at heavyweight. Like Yo, that's what we are for the welterweights. I like how you didn't. I would have I would have said we got it better, I feel like, but you know, you just said oh, I, how they I were think blessed we did too. Get it better. Yeah. I, I mean, but they're always gonna say like Steve, remember Steve Barhood came on, he said like everybody has their golden era boxing. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. for him it's like when he was younger and he remembers Ali and them and like for me, you know, Pacquiao, Marquez, um, that era. But listen, I think yo, you gotta look at it. It's like Floyd is so good, he beat that he beat Pacquiao. But then it's like Pacquiao's so good that he does this to the young division. Like, remember when these dudes were already on their way out? Spence and Thurman and, and Porter, like, they were just coming up. Like, now it's their era. This is the era of Thurman, Spence, Porter, Danny. Like, this is their era. Crawford. And, man, he's still doing it. Like, or if he does it, I'm saying. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Wayne in UK said, Ness, no, no, no info on a celebrity fight with you and the basketball player on Triller? Nah, man. <laughs> we, we still gotta see, we still gotta see do Triller got any money, man. They Yo, fights keep life. getting canceled. Oh, Ever man. since Jake left, they ain't had no business over there. It seems like the door's closed, man. <gasps> Yo, let me go out to They were saying they wanted you to fight the cowboy. Which cowboy? Oh, from, from Jake Paul's crew? Yeah. Bruh, them That's dudes is wild. Twitter. They wild, man. Uh, yeah. Let me go out to Coach Myers. Coach Myers in Connecticut. What up? It is. Yo, you hear me? Yes, sir. Ain't nothing much is going on. What's good with y'all? What's good, Mario? Chilling, chilling. Nice to see you on the show more consistently after your fight. Um, <laughs> when we <laughs> getting Dumatron back, man? Only he can tell you. He's being activated. Hey, but he is, he is, he is contracted to be at all live shows, so you can count on him for the July 16th and 17th show with TriStar Promotions and Southpaw Promotions in Atlanta at Buckhead Fight Club. You can also count on him to be at the July 31st Atlanta show with uh, BPE Network and Big Time Promotions and associations with Latin America Promotions, and you can count on him to be the referee at Border Wars September 18th. In Watertown, Wisconsin. All right, all right. I mean, my fault big time. Y'all big time now. I'll just test, shoot him a text message. <laughs> but um, <laughs> good show. Um, Border Wars, man. If I'm not fighting, y'all, you know, I still want to be a part of the event, man. Somehow, sure. some way. I want to help out. Now, we're going to so, get you a Watertown if all... guy, man. Don't worry about it. We're gonna, we gonna either going to see if we could get... Uh, I mean, we're working on it. I'm working. I'm waiting on... I know y'all work. I mean... I. Honestly, I, I'd rather lock it in sooner than later. Of course. You know what I mean? So I can get everything situated. But uh, the sooner the better, man. Right. But keep me posted. But I got a 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Yo, schedule is getting litty. I'm just so excited, man. As you guys don't understand. There's so much to come. So much to come, you know. Uh, where we at? Where we at? Yo, if you ain't got no haters, let me tell you, that song will never get old. You ain't popping, man. I'm letting you right know right now. I see y'all. Uh, we going out to Izzy in Oklahoma. What up? 
Hey, good morning, fellas. How y'all doing? Oh man, lovely. Good morning, Mr. Weber. Good morning. Bless. Good to hear all. Good to hear the show, the trio. I like this. Um, I agree with King Amin on uh, Nakatani, man. I don't. I don't really see that fight being a six to one or or worse for him. I think it'd be closer to maybe a three to one. Um. I wonder with Barrios, what you were talking about him being nervous and stuff. Is is this a tune up plus for Tank being the the plus meaning the you know two weight class you know uptick here? So that's kind of my question for y'all. Is it just a tune up plus? Obviously Mario doesn't think so. I'm kind of wondering that. I hate to think that, but what do you mean um, tune up plus? Like a, like a tune up, like but not, it's like not, not more a than tune up. A tune up. Not, not a tune up because of, not a tune up tune up because he's in this he's not in the same weight class he's he's a, he's one forty been fighting at one forty and been winning at one forty knocking dudes out at one forty even but um and tanks jumping up two classes so is is this a tune up plus that's that's my just a thing I thought about um and like again not between Katani, a tune up and a legit threat yeah, right I know, I get is that it what now. you're saying I'm hearing them I'm hearing them I guess I don't know man look I li- yeah I like the way I guess so that. I guess so because you can't take away the danger you know. And, and being there, yeah. being there with Tank, it seems like he legit respects the height and reach of Barrios. You know, uh, I, I feel like I heard that in his voice. Obviously, you know how good of a judge of character I am. I don't know. You know, I, I think too is is hard to um, and in the same way, I'm a you know shoot it in in the direction of Canelo and, and Felding. Like it's hard to have it both ways where we say weight classes matter. And then say a guy is going to go up two weight classes where there's an inherent danger because of this whole thing of weight classes matter. And then all of a sudden, it's a tuna. It's, it's hard to mm-hmm. take the danger out of that if that's the premise that you're trying to stand but on. But they so do, me, though. They do, though. Again, you know, people are going to say, oh, Ness, you're such a fanboy. No, this is boxing, and you have to reference things. And when Canelo moved up two divisions to beat up Kovalev, they found an excuse to tell you that a three-time legit champion not a regular champion, not a not a disputed champion. A he took a dive. Mm. He had to take the dive. There's no way. There's no way. Canelo could just be that. Is he had to take the dive? But I mean, my, for, more than that, my point is that they found a way to discredit it, so they will find yeah. a way to discredit yeah. Tank's achievement on the 27th of June, once he does what he does on the 26th. Definitely. I think you're right. Uh, Super chat from Rich Mendez says, I'm 70 and remember when fighters fought each other. Huh. Well, then you know what, Rich? You would like the junior bantamweight division and the bantamweight division and the junior flyweight division and the flyweight division. Rich, man, shout out to you, man. 70 years old. Listen to the show. That's dope. Uh, technology savvy all on YouTube. Thank you for not only listening on YouTube, but obviously being subscribed and 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 super chatting, man. Shout out to you, man. Let that inspire some more seventy year olds who out there listening. Go ahead and uh, pick up the phone and call us at one four two five five six nine fifty two forty one. You know, I'm not a, a history buff, but you know, um, you know. Obviously, the, the the guys who are listening to the show, like yourself, Rich, that have been around that long, you can you can tell us a thing or two. You you see, David Maldonado definitely <clears throat> tries to tell us a thing or two about history. So, the more the merrier, man. The more the merrier. Um, I highly doubt that I did this in the traditional sense. Remember to rate us five stars on iTunes. Subscribe to youtube.com slash the boxing voice for the latest and greatest interviews with your favorite fighters. Now that that's out the way, don't forget, uh, like she said, to subscribe. We're trying to get to 130,000 subscribers and only you can help us get there. We're working. Uh, Border Wars, September 18th, Watertown, Wisconsin. We're back. Shout out to the bar. Shout out to George Monterey, the future mayor of Watertown, Wisconsin. And shout out to Adrian Rowan. Uh, We're going out to Austin in Texas. What's up? Again, if you want to be part of Border Wars, hit me up on uh, Instagram or Patreon and ask me what's it about. If you don't know and you want questions answered.
Hey, good morning, Ness. Good morning, Mario. How are you, brother? Morning. Good, man. Good. Hey, Mario, I wanted to ask you, about what you know about throwing dice? <laughs> oh, man. You know, I know about losing my money to kids in middle school and high school. That's about it. Hey, at Border Wars, we could throw some dice, man. Also, Bro, I'm down. I wanted to ask y'all. Quick down. question. Quick hey, question. I'm with you. I'll put some cards, too. Wait, wait, wait. Quick question. Do how many yes, dice? Sir. How many dice you use? Two. Wow. Where's my Where's my that's fail, Texas man? Style. That's Texas style. What y'all shooting like? Yeah, that's not even dice in here in Dallas. You, you, for real, right? He oh. playing Dungeons and Dragons with like nineteen dice and shit. Nah, nah. CeeLo, Jack. <laughs> no, no, but you can't play CeeLo with two dice, champ. So you got it fucked up. You talking about head? You talking about craps? If you talking about yeah, yeah, two we dice, craps. Yeah, yeah, that's what we did in CeeLo. That's an old, that's an old man dice. liquor store. Yeah, seven Eleven, Seven Eleven, two dice. Yo, with a it got of yo, out he on his ice cube yeah, shit. Seven Eleven, Seven Eleven. Yo, today was a good day on his uh, ice cube shit. Now, I hear you. Nah, nah. I, I, I'm from the east, man. We play CeeLo, man. We play three dice, baby. Head crack, baby. You know, oh, five or better, man. baby. Five or better. I'm going uh, fever. Uh, hey, y'all, stick to our we two, two dice, big dog. We can stick to our two dice. Double I, hey, I double I yeah, trip. Yeah. Double wide trip, let's go. Yo, that's what I fuck with them. Let's dice. Do it. Nah, I, listen. I was gonna ask her. Bring them in Watertown, man. Bring them in Watertown. Hey, yeah. you shaving are, your are edges, gonna be hooping while we down there? I'll take my shoes. You what? I'll take my shoes if y'all if y'all gonna be hooping down there. I know last time y'all was trying to have a well, three basketball tournament. Uh we gotta confirm the weather with Adrian, uh, cause it could be anywhere between like, you know, sixty something. So the the weather and, and are is there a gym? And plus you get in there Friday. You my man, yo, you better have some V eight and some Red Bull. Oh my god, you're gonna drop nineteen I'm ready. hours. Shout out to Austin. He's driving 19 hours to Border Wars in Wisconsin. He's getting there Friday. He's got to weigh in. Plus, he's bringing his basketball shoes to cross you over. And Bro, then he's he going to beat you up on Saturday night. That's the energy we need right I'm, there, man. Hey, I, I love boxing, but I'm a hooper at heart, bro. I love hooping. Let's go. Well, listen, man. Yo, stick around this community. I'm about to show these dudes what me and Doomy been working on. And, and, hey, bet. and I, I'm 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 moving, bro. Knee deep, knee deep. Bet, man. Let me get to some other callers. But it's funny he says that, man. I'm trying to find a picture so I could screen share it. But me and Doomy, uh, we found a compound, bro. A compound. The issue is that it just isn't enough days, you know. To to like, look, today's June 24th. That means we literally got 30 days today. A compound. A compound in Las Vegas, bro. Bro, swimming, to what end? Swimming pool. It houses Whoa. it houses sixteen people. Damn. It, ha it has it has it has like a fucking fifteen by twenty four pool. It has a complete full court, a, a complete theater. Bro, it's insane. But there's not it's not enough time to get it done in thirty days. You know what I mean? It's just is you know there's so much. Because it's thirty days from today, right? Yeah, because I, we wanted to do it for the Wilder Fury fight. It, yeah, yeah. You know, so we thinking maybe the next month for 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 uh, now that they announced Earl and Pacquiao officially and Pac yesterday, they announced that officially in T-Mobile in Las Vegas. Maybe. No, but are you? I, you said the other day you weren't gonna go to that. To what? Pac. Well, obviously, I think that the bigger fight is 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 is, is Wilder. You but know, you're gonna but try to Earl, go to both. But Earl is such a star. Look at what he did in Texas, and then that's you the got, fight I'd rather see. And then you got Pacquiao. You. Then you got Pacquiao. So they might bring out more celebrities than Wilder Fury. Mm. But I thought, I thought, and I feel Wilder Fury will bring out more of our fans. So oh yeah, so for we'll sure. Get, that's gonna be the party. We'll get exactly. We'll get a bigger reception. I think if we would have been able to do an appreciation night for July twenty third to Friday before the fight, but. 30 days is no way unless we get uh, a major sponsor. There's no way we can put together the funds that it takes to do something like that on, in, in that amount of time. Like, but we found the location, man. It's a, uh, it's fucking fire. I wish I can't even find it now. I need him to reset. And you said it's it got a basketball court. It's, 
everything, bro. Everything. A basketball, pull, a basketball court, court full. A full court, bro. It's insane. The compound is insane, man. Um, but yeah, let me get to some callers as I, I'll try to find that and so we could at least screen share. We're going out to David Maldonado, New York City. What's up? Yo, bro. Yo, this is the most anticipated Javante Davis fight for me that I've ever looked forward to, man. Damn. Um, Yo, real talk. Real talk. Because this is a physical fight. This is a big dude. And once again, shout out to All Access and Showtime, man. They did a fucking tremendous job. They actually turned me into a fan of Calvin Ford. Bro, I like Calvin Ford, man. The way that he motivates Javante Davis. He's a hell of a trainer, man. And Mario Barrios, he... He looks like El Gallo Negro, the guy from Blood In, Blood Out, Benjamin Bratt. You know what I'm talking about? Lou Diamond Phillips, man. No, no, that's not Lou Diamond Phillips. That's Benjamin Bratt, bro. Oh. Yo, they're the that's same not, person. Y'all are yeah. tripping. No, it's not, bro. No, they're not, man. Mario, yeah. no, they're not, bro. That's a Bruh, that's like an no, old Hollywood not. secret. Everybody knows <laughs> that. <laughs> no, that's Again, not true, laughing. my nigga. It's, I, I swear to it, it's listen. true. They're the same person. Mary Mario, I heard y'all talk about that one time on Untitled, and I went and Googled that whole shit, and I, I did my research, bro. They're, they're two different actors, man. Um, <laughs> they're two different that's, people, that's man. Trust me, you're bugging out, man. You're bugging. You're reaching. Um, as far as Lomachenko goes, I predict Lomachenko's going to win, but he's going to get busted up, and he's probably going to go back down to 130. If he fights Tiafimo next, he's going to get stopped. Oh, my goodness. And speaking of Tiafimo, yo, Ness, I heard a rumor that I hope is not true, bro. What's that? I hope it's not true, man. They said that Tia Fimo's fight date might be actually pushed to September 11th on the undercard of Oscar De La Hoya. Listen to me. Listen Dog, to me. He got back. Listen to me. Didn't yeah. I tell you that that fight won't happen? Like, who the fuck is going to go against Pacquiao? I told you, man. That fight... It, it's over for And if fight. he goes to September 11th... Listen, if he goes to September 11th, now he's going against Canelo and Caleb Plant. That's yeah. not a good move, man. They, they need to just put that shit on ESPN, bro. Straight up and down. Get that shit out the way. Put it on ESPN. They don't They don't right want now, him to be the don't... B-side to Tank. He need to do a pay-per-view. They don't want him to be the B-side. They want him to bring more to the table than just the belts. Yeah, but sometimes you just got to swallow your pride, bro. You know what I mean? You got to just Tell that to Crawford. Well, Crawford, ain't for Crawford about to fight Billy did, bro. Breaking news. Wow, amazing! That's a that's a that's a huge fight because that fight got Amir Khan the Mediterranean Middle Eastern belt. In yeah, the that's, WBC. So, that's a, hold on. You telling so, me that's Billy a huge Dib and Crawford about the fight? Billy Dib. So, that's a, I heard that from an inside source, and it's gonna be a core seed, so you might be right. That's about to come. I think he trolling y'all. He yeah, gotta be he, he gotta, gotta be, be trolling. trolling. He trolling. I, I, I'm, I'm, trolling. I'm, I'm, I'm such trolling. A, a fan. You sure this <laughs> Maldonado? Huh? Yeah. I'm trolling about Billy Davis and Crawford, but I really did hear about <laughs> Fia Fimo September 11th on the Oscar card. Man, I don't like that at all. Man, you know what like it is, shit, man. You know what it is. Dave, you know what it is. Dave, I told you about to turn 40. You can't troll like that, man. I love this shit too much. I have a fucking heart attack. Don't do nothing like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, without an heart attack, oh man, man, but Crawford ain't fighting nobody, bro. He needs to just leave top rank. Who, who, who's gonna what? fight? I heard that. Ain't I heard he that fighting? Mikey Garcia's about. I thought it, oh. I thought it was Cavalasquez, uh the rematch. Nah, nah Cavalasquez was so fighting bad. um Virgil. Yep, Virgil He's Ortiz. Fighting Virgil Ortiz. Yeah. Oh yeah, Jerron Ennis, Boots. Boots Ennis, I heard a rumor that he might fight on the Spence card, the Spence Pacquiao card, and I heard it might be either Ungas or that dude, um, the dude that had a draw with fucking, um, with the dude he beat, man, so that's Castillo Clayton. Oh, all right, all right. Let me get to some other callers. We're going out to Antonio in Albany. That's a good fight with Castillo and Boots. He got that offer like three times, he told us on the show. Yeah. Yo, yo, what's going on, yo? What up? Yo, man, listen, man. People, I mean, I know this is a big fight this weekend, but listen, this is going to make it look easy. Man, yo, he's so short, man. He's going to be able to get those body sh shots in, uppercuts in, like easy work, man. It's going to be, man, listen, it's going to be good work. And Lomachenko, man, it's going to be a tough fight for him. Nagatani, bro, I think he might upset Lomachenko, man. 
I think he's gonna he's gonna upset this guy, man. But other than that, man, good fight, uh, good good weekend of fights, and uh, man, good show, man. Good show, good content. Thank you, man, Antonio, man. Shout out to you, man. It's been like fucking seven years at the very least, right? Thank you, brother, for rocking out with us for this long, not getting tired of my voice and energy. We going out to Artie in Anaheim. Artie. What's up? What's cracking on, boy? What's you good? Boy. What's good? <laughs> uh, hey, I just want to call in, dog. Uh, let you know that, you know, you've been putting me up on game, homie. I've, ever since I've been out, I've just been listening to you guys. I, today, I, today, I celebrate one year of being, uh, being uh, out of, uh, uh, I, was the, I did uh, 10 years in the feds, man. And Damn. Today, I celebrate one year. Congratulations, Salute, my yeah, friend. Congratulations, was, man. Yeah, yeah. Salute. Yeah, but every uh ever since I've been out, I mean I, I hear other people talk, like other uh, YouTubers talk about boxing. But once I came across Shores Dog, that's Duval, homie, I got stuck, eh? But you know, uh shout out to my boy uh, uh Mazzioni from New York. You know what I mean? We were in the feds together, I put me up on game on boxing. He was an Italian uh, Italian brother. Uh and uh hey homie. We're going to go for Tank Davis, dog. Oh, you going against Tank the grain? Hey, boxing. homie. Hey, I, 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 hey, I see how I see it, my boy. I mean, I, I got, I, I, I would roll my rasa, but man, Tank, dog. Hey, when he did a Leo Santa Cruz, oh, man. Oh, shit. Barrios. Oh, you better watch out, boy. <laughs> I'm going to catch you with that hook. <laughs> Hey, I just keep it real, homie. You know what I mean? That's all I know, keeping it real. You know? <laughs> yeah. hey, hey, but, hey, but gracias, homie. Much love and respect, my boy. Gracias a man. Thank you, man. Be safe out there. Appreciate you rocking out with the show. And uh, obviously, giving your testimony, man. We appreciate that. Uh, there's a lot of callers on Blog Talk. Don't forget, you got to press one at least one time to let us know that you want to be on the show as well. And uh, yeah, man, just uh, let's keep rocking out. We going out to Brooklyn. When you see old dirty bastard form a position like that, then you know that I'm getting ready to bust your. <laughs> Yo, peace, 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 morning. Y'all hear me, right? Yeah. Listen, man, I'm going to give you my analogy of this fight, man. Yo, Mario, are you insane? Are you insane talking about that, Mario? Listen, you know what, Mario, I ain't trying to get at you, but I'm going to tell you it's like this. What you said is insane, like slap boxing with Jesus and licking gunshots at Joseph. Shit is wild. You heard? Listen, um... All right, let's get to Loma, man. Loma is the bear trapper. He the wild Russian dude living in the woods, right? He going against a samurai. Nakatani is the samurai. And you know them samurai cats, man. They strategic, they raw, they rough, and they very intelligent. So after this fight, is he going to do a, a kapuku? You know, like after they lose and shit, samurai lose, he... He split his belly open. And let's get to, um, yo, let's get to my man, um, Tank, right? Tank is Mighty Mouse, and Mario's on some Mexican, like, Solomon Grundy type shit. You heard? It's like Mighty Mouse versus a Mexican. You know them Aztec warriors back in the day, they cut your heart out and eat it, though. But so you going against a short guy, against a tall guy. And this shit might be nasty. It, it, it might look nasty for Tank more than an orgy with Caligula, you know, the uh, Emperor Caligula back in the days, y'all. So like I said, man, Lubin, Lubin is fucking, um, Lubin is the green lantern, man. You know what I'm saying? Lubin is the green lantern and shit, and the other dude is Sunfire. So, you know, a sun, a sun... The sun rays go against everybody, you heard? So like I said, let's do it. I got low, I, I got Tank. No, I got Nakatani. I got the Samurai versus the Russian, you heard? I got Tank. I got Mighty Mouse stopping 
Mario's Barrios, I said it. Everybody hear it. Knocking him out like in what? Seventh round. Tank on the figure him out. He want that intelligence shit. You know what I mean? He got the super pill fucking with Mayweather. You heard? And um, and I got Ros uh, I got Rosario knocking out Lubin, man. I don't trust Lubin, man. Trusting Lubin is like somebody giving you a fake three dollar bill, man. Is it real or, or is it live or memorized? That's my thing. Yeah. Hey, yo, mom, we gonna get this shit pumping later on, y'all. Seven o'clock. Let's get this shit hype. You know what I mean? Let's hype it up, everybody. Love y'all. Peace. Peace. Yo, King Bourne is a philosopher. Shout out to King Bourne, man. He dropped a lot of gems, but damn, Bro. he said Rosario Volubin. Aye. You I, know, a I don't think it's a bad pick, honestly, but it's just not the pick I'm going to make. Yeah, Lubin is People more were high polished. on Rosario Lubin before is that more polished, Charlo man. fight. Lubin is way more polished. No, I agree. I agree. I just don't think Rosario is the walkover. Um, he's definitely more than a, a tune-up plus. <laughs> no, this is a challenge for sure. For sure. Um, I'm just saying Lubin definitely more polished. Like Ness said, he's more polished. But, you know, he also has that, you know, a, 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 he's coming off a different, you know, his momentum is different. You know, uh, Banana Man coming in, you know, uh, coming off a, a loss, right? Or did he sneak a, a, some sort of win in there in between? No, it's it's the last one was his loss. Yeah, man. So, again, not being fed, but this is he's got to show the resiliency this fight because, you know, this is Lubin's, you know, this is a, a step in, you know, Lubin's getting this. Uh, Mario, look at good, the screen now. Both of you should be resume. able to see it. If you're following along on YouTube, everyone should be able to see now. I counted the 15 not seconds. Yet. You're lying. So it's I longer promise. than 15. We got to do an official count. See how many delay I mean, we are. It's still talking. There we go. Oh my God, yo, that looks like like a like a little theme park. Toy is a legit compound. Holy shit, yo, is that a yeah, fucking bro. soccer field? Uh, no. Well, well I mean, I guess I guess you could play soccer next to the basketball court in the grass. That's what I was looking at. That green is like a lot of green I, right I'm there. I'm sure that's no turf. I'm sure that's way. turf because this is Vegas. Oh, shit. You're right. That is turf. Yo, this is dope. Don't get me wrong. Shout out to Sean Zettel, who used to be with us in with Fire. He, he had a house with grass in the back. You just got to pay for the water. You know, you got to you gotta hit, hit the water every day. The hell you had a house with grass in the back what you Doggy, talking about I, didn't, I don't live in vegas oh yeah yeah you're right, you're right. <laughs> vegas cooks grass That's, no but the way you said it i thought you were like oh it's like a big deal to have grass in your back but you meant like in vegas to be able in to vegas, treat it and in yeah, vegas you're right. you gotta have some money to have grass you have pretty nice grass though like i mean i don't know but you, i'm in new jersey no no no. i'm just but still it's I was cold in there new like jersey. grass is probably still hard to grow like it's hard well, to grow here in Corp. fucked up man word yeah, man, I, my shit, my shit is, you gotta, uh, I, I ain't one of them kind of do, I wish I had my uncle around, man, you know what I'm saying, I mean, I'm not even, he, he, he was, that was his thing, you know what I'm saying, but he ain't, uh, he getting older, man, and my son is kind of, you know what I'm saying, I gotta show him how to do it right, so we working on that, but anybody TBV, um, family in New Jersey, man, y'all know a good landscaper, holler at me on Instagram, Yo, real. but you a good father, though, that's what my dad did, my dad, it, it was crazy, because, like, it was me and my younger brother, it was the only siblings, like, he let that kid chill all day playing video game, But he made me go outside. You know, this is how you fix the tire. This is how you fix the AC. You know, this is what you do when the plumbing goes. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, that shit stuck with me for real. Nah, that shit's important, man. Oh, yeah. I know people that don't know how to fucking change a tire. I look at them like they're crazy. Bro, my, my brother calls for everything. Like, I mean, the toaster didn't pop the fucking bread out, and he's calling. It's crazy, bro. Like, they did him wrong. Yeah, you got you got to do him right. You know, you know what's funny? Speaking of that, did y'all see that article? Now Ch uh, Chavez Sr. is coming out talking about if Omar and, and uh, Junior don't prepare better, then they, they should uh, not fight any fight on anymore. Did y'all see that article? No. What? For real? He called yeah, him out? Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, man. I'm not... Yeah, I'm going to say... I'm, I'm going to put that on me. I mean, I mean, not like that, but I I mean, I, I made a big deal of it because, again, look at the conversation. You did, what yeah. happened. 
it means something, yo. So it's funny that he did it, and I respect him for doing that. And that was the whole thing. Like, boxing is so serious, bro. And then your name is your name. Look what we talk about. Tank scalp is worth more than any belt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, whether you, yeah. you got fake belts, regular belts. So your name is your name. That's your marketability. Floyd, we, we all know. Canelo, we all know how this goes. So you're using a Chavez name. You want it to have equity. And if them boys ain't putting no equity in it, you know what I mean? It's, you know, nah, it kind of devaluing it. They devaluing it. The name is becoming watered down. It's not worth the same thing that it was. And that's why the father has to come out of retirement and fight on these cards now. Yes. If the Chavez name held weight, the father don't got to come out of retirement. But it's losing all the credibility that it had due to the son. Absolutely. It's crazy. Uh, we're going out to JT in Dallas. Are you available? So interesting. If you come across like a nice guy, but you really a piece of shit. Hey, you back come on, come on. That was a piece of fuck you. That was a piece of shit. You know, Rob, we're doing, we're doing live TV. Yeah, I don't care. What are you going to do about it? I can't hear this mother. Why do you have to talk like that? Well, I'm talking to you the way I want to talk to you. Do you have a problem? Turn off your station. I'm the best ever. Yeah, what's up? What up? What up? Top of the morning, JT. Top of the morning. I'm at the Silver Club tournament. Uh, my son, we're going to try to fight in. Uh, I don't know today, tomorrow, so good luck with that. Good luck to him day. and good luck to you, champ. Definitely, definitely. Good luck to the fans. Yeah, good luck, champ. Good luck. We go, uh, Mario versus Tank. I think that's a close fight, man. Uh, I want to play with Tank in it. That's a tough guy, you know. Giannis with Leo was giving my um, Tank a little trouble before he stopped himself. So, uh, you know, he made a lot of bad mistakes. That's how he got caught with the uppercut. At a time when he was a little fatigued. But uh, I would still favor Tank. It's a close fight, though. Uh, Nomachenko versus uh, Nakatami. King, I mean, I heard you say about his pressure. That's the wrong fight to fight against Loma Chico, so I'm taking Loma Chico. Mm. Uh, um, Lubin versus Rosario. That's a 50 50 fight, man. And, um, I know Lubin polished and all that, but I like how Rosario come and fight. He got the equalize, he got that power. Once again, before he got hurt, he was giving Charlo a tough fight. And um, hope he, hopefully, he make um, better decisions from that, learn from that, his mistakes. He got caught. I think it. I think I'm, I'm gonna take Rosario in that fight, but it's still being a close fight. You know the fights they got coming up. Yo, you know the what, fights. What other say you said? I, you, like, what's that? What, what are you saying there? Oh, y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm repeating all the fights. Y'all say Rosario versus Lou. I yeah. said I take Rosario in a close fight. That's still a close fight. Oh, I why got, are you uh, picking Rosario too? I'm gonna pick Rosario. Uh, I'm gonna That's pick Rosario. I don't know, man. That's a close, close fight, man. Because Lou is, is a whole lot better since he's dropped. Since he's lost to Charlo. And they, boy, they both lost to Charlo. But I just think uh, we saw more out of Rosario when he fought Charlo. So I'm gonna take Rosario. Uh, um, I said uh, I take Lomachenko over uh Nakatami. and um, I got I got Javante over uh. Barrios, but that's gonna be a tough fight, man. That's gonna be a real tough fight because he gotta get past that height, that height situation with uh Barrios. And Barrios was smart. He'll use a lot of distance for, um on um, versus Tank, like every tall fight is supposed to. So do they got any other fights um coming up? Mm, I mean, just the undercards, I guess. We would have. We're not doing the whole thing. Not yeah, it's not. There isn't tonight, any other tonight, real like seven p.m. Yeah, and oh, also, Ness, I wanted, you were talking to Michael Fox the other day, right? Um, I was listening to your interview, but then I had a call came in. You know how, I know you were trying to get some hard questions out, out of, but he's not going to tell you detail for detail. But, but what I think, he was giving uh, Javon a lot of trouble with his height. And, um, you know, of course, he was working with him as well, because, you know, one thing about it, when you spawn a champ like that, you still got to work him and give him some good looks and stuff like that. So, was he all the way turned up? I don't know. I wasn't there. I know you was in there. But I think a, a, a fighter like that with height, he need to be smart and use his height, his range, and his distance, man. That, 
that yeah. probably gonna be a hell of a fight. But if Mario, if Mario's, Bar- if Mario's, Barrios, whatever his name is, come fight all close, you make a make it a sharp fight, small man fight. Yeah, you got a favor Tank Davis in the fight easy. But uh, that's still that's a that's a tough fight still. Let's go. But I get, if I had to go off of my gut, I guess I still gonna give it to uh, Tank. But I wouldn't be surprised if Barrios uh, beat Tank Davis. That's my call, man. I'm out of here, y'all. Right, hey, good, good luck, luck to you and the fam. All right, thanks. Yo. I, that's two Rosario picks already, man. That's yeah, that's, that's all I was about to say. Like, that's, man, people going with Rosario. Again, I don't think it's a bad pick. I just, again, like y'all said, the pilot, it's it's a lot of things, but. And you know what? I can admit, it, it is a lot of things. I can admit to being a little biased. I Why is that? I got a little bit biased. I got a little bit biased. Just you know like Lubin. I like Lubin too. <laughs> it's a, it's a it's a, a, a uh, you know I'm I'm a very cultural person, so it's the Haitian thing. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my souls. Sure. You know what I'm saying? I liked it when he came in. He had Jack and Sledge. You know what Yo, I'm saying? Dope. You know I, I I'm biased. I'm biased. So you know um, I I don't want, I don't want to hold that against Rosario. It is if JT's right. It is more of a 50 50 fight. King Bourne's right. You know what I'm saying? Not you know. I can't take nothing away from, but I'm going with Lubin. I'm going with. Man, Lubin. come on! I mean, you can't be picking with your heart, like no, I'm like I'm the one that picked Barrios and shit. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, you talking about can't be picking with my heart. <laughs> no, I was playing. Man, shout out to JC. Shout out to JC. Hit me up on uh, Patreon, asking for that. Mybookie.ag link. Yes, yes. Nice. Official tissue. Uh, we got a bunch of callers, man. We going on out to Davidian, Buffalo Falls. What up? Hey, what's good, TBV? How are you? Good morning. Um, good morning. Good morning. Uh, I mean, and uh, Mario, what's good? Uh, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I'm to- uh, I don't know. I'm torn. I really like uh, my man. I know Tank is Tank is sweet. I also am a big fan of Barrios too, so I don't know. It's gonna be an interesting fight. Um, I might be one of the weird ones. I might go with uh, Barrios. I like upset, but I know how good Tank is. He should be able to get the victory, but I know it's not gonna be, you know, as a lot of people just think he's just gonna run over Barrios, so. Um, yeah, that's my pick. I, you know, I'll eat my crow, but, um, who else? Uh, Lou, I got Lubin, but that's a close fight, too. I mean, it's a lot of 50 50 fights. Um, and lastly, I think, I don't know, I kind of want to go with Nakatani. So, yeah, do I might it, go do with it, Nakatani, do it. But I really love Loma. <laughs> <laughs> but I do love Loma. It's tough. It's like 50-50. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. I just can't wait to see the fights. Um, yeah, great show, and God bless. Thank you, brother. God bless as well, man. Yeah, man. I, I think Lubin, um, L- Lubin, if he come in there and, and stop Rosario, that's going to be a big feather in his hat. And, you know, um, do, do we ever... I don't know what we, we ever talked about. I mean, Lubin, he's got, a to me, a higher ceiling. Like, that loss happened, but it happened so long ago. Um, Kevin Cunningham's yeah. done a, a lot of great work with him, man. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see where he goes from here. Again, I, again, Rosario is no walkthrough, but I just feel like he's more prepared, you know, in, at the point in which these two fighters are meeting. You know what I'm saying? Rosario sure. ain't exactly coming off it's of a good way to put feeling it. good. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and emotions ain't got everything to do with it, but we know so many things have everything to do with it. Um, but so it's not Jeff, just emotions. It's momentum, too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Terrell, get, that nice. was a big fight. That was a big win for him. Terrell, that was, you know, yeah, it was definitely a big win. So, no, nah, I feel you. Listen, I like Lubin, too, man, and it would be such a great story for him to lose, I mean, not for him to lose, but for him to have lost that Mel fight and to come back. I mean, he's currently on what is like a six fight win streak or something like that. Yeah, you know, yeah, to beat, listen, to to beat Gallimore, Terrell, and Rosario in a row, that's a huge feather in your cap. Absolutely. And that puts you in some pretty rarefied air right there at, at 154, you know, 
hey, listen, on the other side of that, right? If Rosario wins, then it's like, you know, I had a line. And remember, I love Erickson Lubin, but I know boxer. Remember, I had a line. I said, um, what is the promoter? That's how the promoter ruined him, like Erickson Lubin. You know what I'm saying? Putting him in in a certain position. So what would t- for, to me, what would happen is if Lubin loses, then it's kind of like, yo, Rosario was, you know what I'm saying? He was unified for a minute, but he, he, he can't be fake. He's had an off night. Is he... You know, so so maybe you throw him in there, and I don't know if they've been in there before, but throw him in there with a Tony Harrison before he get back in there with Mel. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know how it shakes out. Is any? Oh no, Castano is ready to fight. So say Castano loses, right? And then you know what I'm saying? Rosario's on his way back up. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he can see immediate rematch because he beat Lubin and he just had an off night. Maybe he, you know, if he beats Lubin, maybe he's right and ready to, to get back in there with Mel. I honestly think like that could I don't know if listen I am very uncertain of what Mel's going to do if he wins you know and I expect him to win I'm picking him but you know undisputed is undisputed that means both guys earned the you know chance to be there and and Castano he put on a hell of a performance too um that said like depending on what Mel does if he drops the belts I mean you got to expect Lubin off a win like that, he's got to be right up there. I mean, he's already, uh, you know, in position to fight for the what is it, the WBC, something like that. Because I remember he had a oh, it was Lubin? like a silver belt for the Terrell fight. So. Lubin, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Lubin, remember he's uh, this is another eliminator, but they just going for names yeah. at this point. Um. But this is what I'm saying. Because we're, we're, it's like yes. the third eliminator. For real. You you think Rosario gets a rematch though? Like say Mel comes out of it, you know, out of successful against Castano. It Rosario all depends beats on Lubin. Mel. It all depends on Mel. And is he moving up or is he gonna stay and defend? Uh then yeah, you know, uh Rosario would be a, a dude that obviously could earn a rematch because he's taking the uh the position of Lubin, who's the mandatory, you know, if he beats Lubin, Lubin is next up, you know. But we got a boomerang yep. in Canada, Canadian Jose, who's going to be taking on Mario in uh, Watertown, Wisconsin, from the bar. Shout out to George Monterey. Popping all this champagne, popping all this rose, getting money like Jose, chain cold, Norway, shorty wants that full play. I'm like, no way, gotta rock it like cold play, killing it. OJ, getting cheese like Green Bay, call me Aaron Rodgers. Hopped out that Dodger, dodging them cops. My boy got them choppers, you don't want no problem. Yes, yes, I love it, I love it. Hey, boys, good morning. Just so the world knows, I'm back in the mix. I got my boomerang, so you guys are going to be hearing a lot more of me. Um, I just wanted to congratulate Amin. I know he's been in the uh, the ecosystem for years, and um, sometimes you never know, man. Look at him on air. He sounds like a pro, so um, I'm enjoying it. Appreciate you, honest, brother. You guys have done well again. Appreciate that T-shirt, too, baby. No, man, I love that it. that T-shirt. Yeah, yo, you know what? I'm going down to the east. I'll be there soon. I'll bring it for you, brother. Bring it for you. No, I love it, man. You guys, you guys are resilient, man. Like, you know, um, so many great people in 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 this uh you know in this world i'm excited to 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 meet the new guys in tbv you know there's a lot of a lot of juniors out there i guess i want to meet daddy so i'll be there soon guys um you know i just wanted to talk quickly about about mario barrios Ness, remember back in vegas bro in the new yorker we we're all hanging out and mario was with us hanging out with us he's such a good guy man you know i um, Did he come to new I york hope, I hope he, he was at new york's man. appreciation night no 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 in the new york in oh, the new york uh, new york new york hotel Okay, okay. Yeah, in the New York, New York Hotel. He was with us, taking pictures, talking. This was like, I think, six, seven years ago. But but anyhow, I'm picking with the heart. I hope Mario can can get the upset and, and beat Tank. Um, you know, if, if anything else, just because he's a good guy, man. And, and good guys good guys win too, man, just so people know. You don't always have to be the bad guy to, to, to win. And, um, and, and as for Lubin, man, I hope Lubin does it. Uh, I think Lubin was just matched. Like, you know, his, his promoter did him wrong by, by putting him against Charlo so early in his career. That's why, um, you know, these, these fights are so crucial, right? You got to get matched well because, you know, that fight at that time didn't really mean anything, but it, but it set back his career so much, right? So um, that's my take. One other thing I wanted to say, guys, today, please, you know, check out Ness. He's going to be on, on a very important special podcast. My wife is going to interview him. 
2 o'clock Eastern. Ness will probably share that on his on his socials. But uh, as always, guys, appreciate you guys all very much. And uh, and I'm just excited to be back in. Peace, boys. All right. It's funny, all right. Shout it's out funny to he said that because literally his wife just shared it on her Instagram and I reposted it. But I'm asking for a physical link so that I could, uh, you know, share it with you share guys. It. Uh, directly. Yeah, I'm tuned in. What is that? 2 p.m. Eastern. 2 p.m. Eastern. Yes, sir. Gotcha, yes, gotcha. sir. I think I think I'm gonna in. have to. I think I'm gonna have to choose her platform to announce what we should have announced um, on yesterday title, on or title. Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, because it's yeah. it's 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 uh her show is uh for entrepreneurial uh, entrepreneurs and stuff like that, business people and you know people hustling, man. So. Yeah. You gonna give him the official tissue name? I'm gonna have to. Oh, you gotta text me the official tissue name. Don't I, lose me. Oh, I, oh, I thought we all, I thought we all agreed on it already. He did. They didn't tell you. Uh, and, I'll text you. I'll text yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, what is this? Where's my tags? At? I'm over here looking for my bet and tags. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm going to get you that link soon as uh, Rebecca Kramer hits me with it. And uh, I'll let you know where you can catch it if you're interested in listening to the interview. If not, you know, we're back at 7 p.m. Eastern time with another show, our flagship show, where we're going to preview and predict every single fight for this weekend. So today, right now, morning show, we're just talking the big fight with... Tank and Barrios and Nakatani and Lomanchenko. Let's go out to Seattle. Mr. PBC, baby. Boxingboys.com. From the fights, Canelo talking about he believes he can win. Go to my kitchen. Get the sharp knife. Cut the bullshit up. I don't care what you do good. I do every fucking thing great. Mr. PBC, baby. Yo, yo, yo. yo, um, yo. Shout, shout out to PBC, man. Um, um, I got Gervonta Tank Davis winning um, kind of a life or death fight. Um, I got um, Rosario. I had Rosario beating J-Rock back in the day. Well, I definitely got him beating Lubin. I think sparring videos are dope, but... Uh, he never really had that career like that, so. Um, definitely got uh, Lomachenko Yo, you've been winning. hating. Are you like half Puerto Rican? You've been hating on Lubin ever since that 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 knockdown of Berlanga got dropped. What's going on with that, man? No. I, do I hate on Lubin? Yeah, you keep saying, oh, sparring is cool, but this and that. Oh, no, because this like. This ain't sparring. I, I, this ain't I, sparring. I, oh. <laughs> It ain't. Like you it, taking it, mad it shots. Sparring. You taking mad shots. Is it his fault that, that somebody leaked? He working. He ain't got no fucking camera on his gloves and headgear. No, but I mean, I didn't see it in his career doing that stuff. So well, you seen it in the gym. Dogs. You seen it in the gym I with a top you. dog. And he didn't hey, record when, it. When you get pissed about some shit, I ain't just remember pissed. when I get pissed I ain't about pissed. some shit. I ain't pissed. I'm just giving you the opposite side of your argument, bro. Like you trying to blame. I feel you. Lubin, like Lubin did something. All he did was come to work. I feel you, but I just didn't see it in uh, watching him in, on live fights. Um, so, yeah, I got J um, Rosario, definitely. Um, I like his speed, but he sometimes he lacks defense. Um, but, yeah, that's about it. That's my call, man. All right, all right, all right. Um, next up, who we got? If you're on Blog Talk, don't forget you got to hit that numero uno so we know that you want to talk. Hit the number one so we know that you are available. There are a lot of callers on Blog Talk. And if you don't press one, we ain't going to know what you want to do. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's handle these, I'm ready. handle these super chats. I think we got Rich Mendez, right? He got a few. Uh-oh, Rich. Sorry. Let's see. ba 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 uh. He says, if Manny Pacquiao beats Spence, we said that. The next one was, yep. I'm 70. Uh, he Got said that. that. The next one was uh, a big $10 super chat. He says, one more thing. It's funny. Mario mentions the flyweights. As Ricardo Lopez was one of my favorite fighters. I listen mm. to you guys while I'm doing my business paperwork. 
it's great until I screw it up. Rich, hit me up on Instagram, man. What business paperwork you doing, man? You never know what I need, man. Ne let's network, man. I got a gigantic network, man. My 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 virtual Rolodex is the size of the. I guess I don't want to say that word. Uh, I was gonna say Twin Towers, but you know that'll take people back to some bad moments. Sure. And then I was forced to say it because when I said I didn't want to say that word, I didn't want you to think I was being perverted. Something weird, or yeah, exactly. So that was a, yeah. Was, so that, that went downhill time. real quick. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, champ. Yo, why is there like so many callers and nobody pressing one on Block Talk? What's up with y'all, scary, like oh, scary no. sherries, man? You having to listen, they, they be stuck. Oh, I got it. Listen, they Working. keep yo, they keep pushing it, and then they push it again. No, I think because just push I keep one their name. Time. Yo, one time like Lauren Hill, man. Doo -doo -doo -doo. One time. Yo, that was a jam. Yo, uh, we going out to that's the video the, right the, there. The, so. the, the 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 best ring announcer in all of boxing, or should oh, I say, yeah. or should I say, the unofficial. How, how we we gotta we gotta we gotta find the right phrase. Come on, Info Joe, you gotta make sign up. But one day he's gonna be announcing live fights on a TV near you. Right now, Absolutely. catch him on the BPE live with TBV from Watertown, Wisconsin, September 18th. The one, the only. Mr. Info Joe. This portion of the show we call in the know, presented by my brother. Yo, yo, yo. What can, up? Am I, can you hear me? Loud am I clear? And clear? Loud and clear. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Great morning, TBV family. Great morning, man. Shout out to y'all, man, you, putting, up that, putting in that work, man. Hey, man, everybody listening, man, hit the thumbs up, man. These dudes is doing pound for pound work. Ain't enough thumbs up, man. I looked at the uh, the chat, man. It's looking bad, man. Come on, y'all. Hit the thumbs up, man. Uh, first things first, man. Shout out to the boxing gods, man, for blessing us, man, with some good fights this weekend, man. Put me down for uh, Lomachenko. The White Wolf is back. Uh, I think that style uh, Nakatani brings, man, is going to be kind of like easy work, man. Dude is durable, but I think uh, uh, Lomachenko got this in the bag. He going he gonna, to he gonna bust back. Uh, as far as Lubin and Rosario, I think that's going to be a very close fight. I'm picking Lubin. I, I y'all think back just Lubin's last fight he got clipped. Uh, who was that with? Uh, was that Gache? Yeah, he almost didn't to, make it out uh, of the, the round, round, man. So tenth round. yeah, so he better not get caught at the end of Rosario's punch, man. It is a 50-50 fight. That's why I'm, I'm shouting out the boxing guys, man. Very seldom we get 50-50 fights, man. Lately, uh, what else? Uh, damn. Who else we got? It was, oh, Mario Barrios, man. Shout out to Mario Barrios, man, in the tank, man. I think that's a 50-50 fight, man. Don't think I'm crazy. Uh, Leo was touching up uh, tank before he clipped. And uh, Mario Barrios does punch a lot of harder in the ears. I'm not worried about the height. Uh, tank, everybody he fight is pretty much uh, taller than him. So it ain't the height. But I think that he's a lot more durable than Santa Cruz. And the punching power is uh, a lot more than Santa Cruz. So I think it's going to be a tough fight. Put me down for Tank. Uh, Ness, you going to go uh, cover that fight live or what? Yeah, man. Uh, the plan is to leave after the show. If I'm going to go, that's how the only way I can do it. Leave after the show. Get dropped through the night. After get, tonight's show. Yeah, drop, leave after tonight's, uh, last, uh, tonight's show. And uh, drive through the night, get there, take a nap, wake Damn, up for the way Jim, in. for real? Hustler, baby. Got to grow, got to grow. You already know, uh, man. Safe travels to you, brother. You safe travels, man. Sure. Appreciate the work, too, man. Yeah, get some no, good shit. Sure. Hey, uh, JT, good luck, man, with your sons, man. Uh, the community is behind you, man. You got this, man. Uh, if you get a chance, put it up in the chat, man. Film some of it. If you got somebody there to film it, man, I'm interested. His sons is good. Y'all check him out, and uh, good luck to you, man. Everybody have a blessed, no stress day, man, and uh, thanks for the show, Ness. For sure, champ. You the man, Joe, for real. Thanks Yo, for the love uh, real too, quick, man, I do want to say out. this. I just want to say, I just want to say this because 
you know, everybody talks about Ness hustling and, and, and how hard he works. You know, there was this one time I covered a fight in San Antonio. Uh, it was uh, the chef fight with Uzgat with Uzgatagi. And uh, we went back to the hotel because, like, Tim Duncan, a bunch of the Spurs uh, were there having dinner. We got to go. We did a bunch of interviews. And, uh, yo, Ness stayed up. With, I had to drive back from San Antonio to Corpus. And Ness stayed up with me on the phone for that whole drive so I wouldn't fall asleep. It was, like, 4 in the morning. Um, so yeah, you know, I just, I like telling that story just cause it's like when you work here, it's like, you know, he, 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 he takes care of you in, in other ways too. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's like family. Shout out to Mario. Cause I don't even remember that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you don't. I mean, you did it a couple times actually, but that was like, I remember thinking like, damn, are you sure champ? You're like, we're good. We're good. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was like four in the morning, five for you. Shit. Listen. Speaking on that, man, I, fellas, I, I'm, I'm glad to be here, but right now I got to cut out. I got to go deal with my little pick me them youth. So catch me on Instagram, King Amina Vessex. Catch me on uh, the show tonight. I will be back. And um, catch me on the championship rounds, King Amina Vessex. That's on my YouTube page, man. Fellas, I'm out. I'll see y'all. All right, I mean, thank you for uh, joining us. Uh, we got Austin in Texas with a super chat says, hey. To get my foot in the door, I'll fight that MMA guy. That's James, but he's an A-side, man. He even brought sponsors to the event. Uh, that was his logo and banner hanging at ringside called Where It's At. It's um, a company. I'll say it's a company. I'm going to stop right there because I'm trying to get him to come on. Oh, come on down and advertise with TBV and let me, <laughs> let me tell my people what your company's all about. That being <laughs> said, uh, he has to accept your offer. He said he's willing to go to 168, just so you know. Mm. Yeah, we got to see, man. We got to see. Still some matchmaking to do. Um, damn, did I ever finish the Gerald Washington Post? Love, have mercy. Let's go out to this new call in the 979. And Mario, create the role now, okay? Because you always say, no, I okay. got it, I got it. And then you don't. And I don't know how to do that. So create that gotcha. role. 979, new caller. You actually making us make a row in our uh, phone book, man. We've never had anyone from the 979. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Aggieland. What? College Station. Where's that? Oh, Aggieland. Yeah, oh. College Station. Okay, like Texas Aggies. Like oh, okay. A&M. So that's Texas. Yeah, it's like a college Yes, gym. sir. Okay, I, I had no clue. Shout out to you. What's your name, brother? My name is Raphael. Raphael, man, thank you for calling in, brother. So, what's on your mind? I I got just real pick my quicks. I got Lubin and I got Davis, and then I wanted to talk about a lot of people lately. Maybe not so much right now, but they're talking about Pack being getting popped for PEDs or juicing, and I'm and I, I think there's a time and place to shit on fighters when you have someone who who's actually tested positive. Pack never tests positive, and I kind of think that takes away from the sport when you make light of the situation. I, and I think I'm looking forward to that fight with Pack and Spence. I'm liking uh, the sparring partners coming out of the Pacquiao camp. Of course, I'm a little biased because I like Pack, but uh, it's not just bias. I honestly do think that uh, Pack's going to give, going to get the W in uh, in the later rounds. I think it's going to go to decision, but I got Pacquiao winning. All right, all right. Thanks for calling in, brother. We got you down by name. Hopefully, Mario's making the row. I'm not going to let him forget to make the row and add Rafael. Nah, I got it right. I'm doing it right now. Look, he forgot already, y'all. Jeez. No, I'm doing it right now. And that, then he ain't going to be on the show tomorrow. Rafael going to call me like, who the fuck is 979? Yo, uh, we going to Natural Wiz Hamilton. Natural Wiz Hamilton. And that's uh, still working. We're going to root and oh shit, my bad. Luckily, yo, you one of the best pound for pounds in the world. You never get mad, stainless. So I'm gonna go to you right after Hamilton. What up? Uh, not much. It's on the back of the truck. If you can hear the wind. Um, yo, when you say the back, back of, when you say the back of the truck, you deliver mail or you drive a big rig? What like what's going on, man? I'm, yo, I'm, a, I'm like like Drake say, I'm a waste man. Okay, okay. I'm a waste man, garbage man. Okay. But uh, I took I took that bet. I'm gonna make it quick. I took that bet with Mario Barrios 
and um, Nakatani. I believe in both of them. Wow. And I, I, I made the ten dollar bet. I made the ten dollar bet. That's gonna be three hundred and ninety-five dollars. Three hundred and ninety-five on a ten dollar bet. Three ninety-five. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to. I wait. No, Bodog. three. That's on uh, Bodog. Yeah, Bodog. Wow. That's Bodog right now. Shit. Yeah. That's an literally hundred dollars. <laughs> yo, yo, I'm Hamilton, get the $10. fuck out of here, yo! Why you shooting down my my little hyperlink? I'm trying to. Promote. I'm out, I'm out here promoting uh, my bookie. He coming over here with better odds and shit. That was a. That's listen, no joke. That's crazy. They offered him a whole another hundred points. <laughs> All right, we gonna let you go because we hit the garbage truck. Uh, you know, compacting the trash. We're going out to Rue with a five oh four. Talk to me. <clears throat> yeah, what's happening, fellas? Good morning. What up? Um, uh, as far as these week's fights go, we got a, a good weekend ahead of us. I think Tank's going to win this one by decision. It's going to be a wide one. Uh, Akhmedayov gets the win. Uh, Rosario's going to... Rosario's going to upset Lubin. I don't know why. I just have a feeling that that happens. And, of course, the Lomachenko fight, I'm picking Loma. This just no. It's going to be a rough one for him, but he's going to get the win, though. Um, just recently, just seeing the growth you guys are having on the channel, it's just good to see. I mean, the first live show I saw was Kaz losing his mind over the Con Canelo results. And just to see where you guys have gone from then to now, it's 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 really cool. And just to be a Patreon and a supporter of all that, man, it's awesome. So I'm really happy for you guys. But uh, that's my call, man. Rue. Thank you. Appreciate man, it Rue. for sure, man. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see. We got to get to Stainless, who I just apologized for for, for, for for not realizing was there. And then I ended up still doing it again and going to Rue. <laughs> I said that where the A side. <laughs> where the A side. Explain red belt, black belt, the B O and green. I'm king. Undisputed go T B E, and you can catch the news first on T B V. Voice of the people, people now let me speak. Scientists of the sweet B O X I N G. That's fire. Yo, T B V was good. What up? Stainless. <laughs> Man, y'all know me, man. Another day at work. But I thought I'd call and listen in to the show. Uh, good show today, man. Uh, I'm happy to hear y'all talk about the fights this week. Yeah. I think the the, the, uh, the tank Barrios fight is probably a bigger fight because, I mean, it's on pay-per-view. That's where the big fights go. And Lomachenko, I mean, we, I think he got more luck than the tank, but that's where we at and seeing what he got left, right? So, I'm saying if it come down to odds, I think. I think uh, the tank is a bigger fight. Um, I don't know what everybody else talking about. I don't, I don't think Barrio stands a chance in this fight, though. I think it'll be a good fight, but I, I think Tank beats him. You know, I don't think it, that he won't challenge him or anything. I just don't think he stands a chance of beating Tank right now. Um, the Nakataki fight, though, that that one, uh, that's more of a 50-50 fight for me than, uh, than the Barrios-Davis fight. Um, I have to agree with who was that, Rue? The last caller, I, I think uh, yep. Rosario might actually beat Lubin. Um, but that's all I got, man. It's time for me to get back to work. Thanks for uh, taking my call. Don't worry about if you skip me or you don't see me, bro. I'm going to be here anyway. And sometimes I just be listening. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm here to listen to the callers just like the callers here to listen to me. So I always say, please make sure you push the thumbs up. Share this in every episode of the Boxing Voice Podcast. This is TBV for life. And if you ain't on Patreon, that's because you're stupid. Shout out to El Camino. Peace. Shout out to Stainless. Looking, looking like heavy rumors of the possibility of September 18th. Um, not only having border, t border wars in Watertown, Wisconsin, but uh, Andre Eubank Jr. could be done Whoa. for that date, and we could be watching Whoa. that live. Uh, you know, Whoa. together as a community. Uh, so, yeah. so, so maybe, maybe I don't know. I don't know what that means. Does because because does that mean that Canelo's won't fight? Like, how would the Zone do two September 18th dates that are main events? That's crazy. Is Canelo date on another date? 
Oh man, that's the million dollar question. You know, uh, De La Hoya going Honestly, September 11th, 18th was what we all this. thought for sure. Let me tell you this. This is going to sound crazy, but I heard Eddie Hearn's interview with Akin Barak, uh, the sweet scientist on the zone. Shout out to my boys, Akin Barak. And, Shout out uh, to Akin Barak. And uh, he said September 19th. I thought it was just a, you know, a, a, a mistake. Like, you know, I made a mistake, whatever. It's That's a Sunday. But he said that date. Uh, and now I'm going to go find the audio, man. Uh, that's strange. He said bro. that date, really? He, he said September 19th. Huh. Could, and I, I mean, it I could just it be just a mistake, a, though. I brushed, it off. A... Yeah, I brushed it off as a mistake. But now if the rumors are... That they go in the 18th. They do in the 18th with Andre and Eubank. That is the zone. Unless they're giving Andre to Wasserman Boxing. And they're going to put that on Channel 5 in the UK. Unless. unless, Well, but it's not a pay-per-view. I was going to say, based off the success that Floyd had, perhaps there's some sort of rationale there thinking, hey, you know, we need to take more advantage of lazy Sunday afternoons that don't have football yeah, but, but do you never put, mind it but, will be football that but time. do you put canelo on a sunday you're the mexican man when is really mexican ah, hell Independence no. saturday's Day? when it, it yeah, pops yeah, off yeah, that's but, why i'm trying but, to find a reason but, but on the calendar this year when is really mexican independence day mexican independence day is on the what is it the 12th no the 15th oh man i forgot you gotta find it's, that out man it's i know it's on uh i know it's on a um this year it's on a Wednesday because I remember seeing. Oh, it's actually on a Thursday. My bad. September sixteenth. That's what it is. September sixteenth. So I that's love. the. But I think see like what what Delahoy is doing is strategic. Doing it the week before that, right? And then it's like the it made sense that Canelo would just go on after. But yeah, I don't know, man. That's crazy. Yo, would if they on the same card? No, I'm playing. Uh, yeah, would the first year, actually, we're doing four shows in six months. And then to things change from from the, uh, from our. You don't win. Uh, has has Canelo? I mean, when's the last? What's the last conversation you and Canelo had about Caleb Plant in that fight? Is it really penciled in for September nineteenth? Like you heard that? Is it really penciled in for September nineteenth? Like 19th. people really say. Now this is Ak of Ak and Barak. Uh, from the sweet scientists on the zone boxing once again uh, not only shout out but congratulations on you know changing the fucking game and the faces of commentary and and just you know daily boxing talk on a, on a big level you know um, shout out to them man but uh, this is this is it people are saying yeah let me go back just so it could be heard again uh, I'll go back about 10 seconds. Has Canelo, I mean, when's the last, what's the last conversation you and Canelo had about Caleb Plant in that fight? Is it really penciled in for September 19th, like people are saying? And his eyes. Notice body language. When he said September 19th, his eyes opened up like a fucking, let me, let me stop that picture. about Caleb Plant in that fight. Is it really penciled in for September? <laughs> Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. You know, like, it's shocking to people. You know what I mean? Uh, so just going to the calendar to double check, September 19th is definitely a Sunday. So some strange stuff. For, for, for Border Wars and Border Wars participants, for us, it still works. That means that, you know, we get the fight on Saturday and we we all make it back home to watch that fight watch, later on yeah. tonight sunday from our own home so everything straight we got a counter punch from seattle washington cutting the line mr pbc what's up yo <clears throat> oh i had two i had a question in the statement um i definitely believe rosario can do it and um so this, uh, did Pacquiao get stripped of his, uh, his belt? I mean, he's champion in recess and they- Well, did. he got, yeah, he, they took it. Oh, okay. So I'm glad, uh, Terrence Crawford took the Ugas fight. Um, I can't wait for that wait. fight. <gasps> Why 
Why the fuck you lying? Why you lying? Why you lying? Why you lying? Why you lying? Bruh, I heard true? Zabella, but whatever. I, I'll be right. Zabella. Why would he go? Okay. I'm not saying I want champ. I'm not saying I want him to fight. I hope you're right. I want you to be right. I'm just saying that's what I heard on Twitter <laughs> yesterday from very reliable okay. journal. Okay. All right, that's my call. All right. I hope you're right, champ. I want him to fight, Ugas. I don't want the Sabella fight. Jose Sabella, man. Jose Sabella. Yo, we got oh that is uh let me see over here we got Hawk in Maryland That's talk hot, to yeah. me. Are you with me? How y'all doing today? What up, baby? Hey, you boys, I'm waiting for these fights, man. I'm going with Tank, man. I think Barrios. He 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 got the, he used his left foot, but Barrios. He's a fighter. He's going to come in and try to fight. And I just don't think he's going to get out of the... I don't know. He's going to do good first early round. I got uh, I got Tank taking him out. I got Tank taking him out. I like that Naka Connie, the, the dude that's fighting... Um, uh, uh, Lomachenko. Yeah, I think that's going to be a good one. That's going to be a good one. But, uh... uh there was one more. Oh, oh, yeah. Um... Um, uh, dang, I can't think of it. The Southpaw fight this weekend. Uh, the one you showed dropping for Langa. Egg, uh, Erickson Lubin. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, that's going to be a good fight, but I'm going with Lubin, man. Lubin hungry right now. I'm, go I'm going with Lubin. It's going to be a good one, but I'm going with Lubin on this one, man. But uh, uh, what's that, Two Fairy? That's the Two Fairy in there with you? Yeah, the Two Fairy. <laughs> <laughs> I got the, I don't got the uh, I, Yes sir That was a good That was a That was a good way To come back And show you me Business He he out He out -wrapped you When he, I was doing The argument But uh You out fought him So that's what we remember <laughs> You the man <laughs> So man Y'all have a good day right. today Alright Alright All right, <laughs> Hawk in Maryland. Thank you for calling in. Uh, we're going out to Boomerang. Coach Myers, what up? If you haven't downloaded the BPE app yet, man, make sure you do so because uh, that's the only way you're going to get to see season 11 of Border Wars. And listen, if you uh, want to participate, it's probably better that you check it out and, uh, you know, you, you see, see what it fights. is man you, you gotta firsthand. see it you have to see it so you understand because if you've seen a border wars before yeah, you is... still are not familiar with what just happened Word. um it is reached a new level and it's gonna get even better you know crispier tighter um, we got we got we got two special people coming out and i'm sure they're gonna be helping uh you know tremendously uh, Mario's wife is coming out. Doomy's wife is coming out, and 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 both of them have uh, a lot of skills in event coordination and things like that. So uh, it's just going down, man. It's going down. It's just going to be such a big event this time around. You don't want to miss it. Um, fucking Bitcoin, bro. I stuck at thirty four thousands for, for like I, I lost money, man. Remember they was mm. at like fifty something. Crazy, bro. yeah. Bull to the crappage. Bull Just hold crappage. it. I'm holding. I'm holding. You don't get I'm there, holding, I promise. Man. I'm holding. But download the BPE app, man. I'm 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 really disappointed. I'm gonna have to just speak it out into the into the community. I'm disappointed. There's a lot of people calling in, talking about they want to be part of the border wars. And when I ask, did you see the fights? Nah, I ain't watched the fights. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's what's going on, man? Uh, remember that there's gonna be a time that you get on there and you're gonna want the same support. You're gonna want to be seen and talked about, man. What's going on and the now? fights are good too like that's the thing is it's one thing to say oh you know I go want. watch this card but yo it's a good ass card i promise from top to bottom the but, fights were crazy but i need them to see the atmosphere the exactly the, the environment man like the difference in border wars 10 and and, and 11 you know it's a complete difference coach myers what up You hear me? What's good? Ain't nothing. Um, for this next Border Wars, I mean, 
I watched it, but hey, listen, leave all that kinky shit at home, motherfucker in the mask and acting like a dog. I, what was that about? Who? What was all that about? Who? I, there was like <laughs> the magician axe dude you oh, had. I don't nah, know. Nah, that ain't the, you. The that dude ain't, was oh, like oh, in a mask. Oh, 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 dog. That wasn't you. That is part of their there being the bar they brought in comedians and whatever that was we are boxing you know you don't ever see me you know what I'm we don't have i don't know if you hired them man i nah, ain't know if you nah, set nah. that Listen, up that's not, nah. i don't own the venue i don't own the venue I, you know i have no control over what the owner wants to do at five o'clock my show started at seven you know bpe Wanted I'm about to, to say they aired it, and that's well. Look, here's the thing: they wanted to make sure audio and all that was good. Which I hear th there some people complained about a delay, but all I'm saying is, um, you know, that they wanted to get all that going, so they went live and used them to focus cameras and get the shots right. Okay, you mm -hmm. know, but nah, we gave. I you just, that I just as think that bonus. was too much. I, I think that was a little too. Well, for me sitting at home watching it, it was like what's what the. I mean, I knew it was the show because it had, they was inside the ring, but it was like, what the hell? Like, I just, you know what I mean? Just had to sit through it for like an hour or so. Like, I mean, for further, I would rather that cut on a replay or not even be shown if it's going to be all that because that was just not entertaining. But that, that's all I got on that. Yeah, it didn't come out on the replay. What? The, 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 Comedians? the comedian? Oh, they cut it? Beautiful. Yeah, they cut it. Beautiful. Yeah, it didn't come out. I, I was, yo, I was. No, they mad. didn't cut it. It's still on there. They didn't cut it. Oh, there you go. Because I was no, mad. No I, way. Was, I, I told Aaron, I'm check. like, bro, you don't got to record that. And 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 he's the one gave me word for word what I just told you. Like, nah, we using it to get shit focused and work on the sound. I'm like, all right. But remember, you ain't got to record that. That shit was crazy to me. You had the cowboy. There was like a Mexican wrestler. It was everything going on. Nah, he, was, he was dressed as a goat. I mean, just as a go. He, I thought the big dude was kind of funny. Man, that shit was rich. Nah, he, that, he's, you're tripping. It's not on here. Listen, we went to the local barber, and the local barber was so. He's not even the funniest. He's hilarious. The local barber, and 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 I had no clue Adrian and them was gonna do. Um, shit, I got a twelve o'clock. I had no clue Adrian was going to do comedians, right? So when I said this to the local barber, it was completely organic based off how extremely funny he was. And I said, bro, you really need to come to the show and do an act. And I told him, because he was like, nah, I'm no comedian. I said, look, what you do is you bring your set, man. You keep your same setting. You bring your barber chair. You sit someone there. If you're really going to cut, you cut. But you fake the cut so that you feel in your environment. And you say your jokes, bro. You are hilarious. That dude is hilarious. Like legit, legit, you know. And oh he damn, up. he's right. It is on here. Mm -hmm. You lost. I that guess bet. I just skipped it. You lost somehow. that. Bet. So, so. Well, so, because they got a long blur. Oh my bad. Go my ahead. God. Sorry. They got a long. No, walk. it's because they have a long. They have like a. It was like a 15, 20 minute just logo. It plays for just like 15, 20 minutes. So like every time I go to watch the fights, I would I know where it starts, right, or about mm -hmm. where it starts. So I fast forward to the fight. But I assumed everything before that was just the Border Wars logo. But no, it's he's right. I my, my bad. I apologize. You're absolutely right. You it cuts in. See, I'm on listen, I'm on minute fifty five and this stuff is still it's still showing the Border Wars logo. That's why that's why I didn't catch it. I'm gonna go back and watch him. That that I thought the big dude was kind of funny. I thought I thought he had some some good material at the end. Uh, I don't know about that, a lot, but, but that cowboy was whack though. I'm not gonna lie. He was beating up the goat. The dude dressed like a goat. Yo, and then and then and I was standing next to the comedians, right? Because we was like in the VIP. Like I would go out and watch the fights for a little bit. And they kept like talking like they were commentating the whole time. <laughs> it was funny, like I don't know. Hulk but they Bradley, were... we just got you a fight, baby. Hulk Bradley, we just got you no a fact. fight. Cash App Ness GTO those fees. And it's on and popping. You gonna, you gonna, you gonna announce it or not yet? Yo, I wish we could get Ray J. I know I'm old as hell, but I, I would love him to play that one hit, you know what I mean? Just that one hit. 
Come on, don't Which act one? like you don't know Ray J's only hit. Why are you acting like he had multiple hit hits first? right now? What? I hit it first. How does that go? It was the Kanye diss about Kim. I hit it first. You remember that one? Hell no, man. Don't nobody give him points for that shit. Um, we but you about... act like Ray J had a... Oh, you said he had the one hit. You're right. He had the one hit. He... I ain't never call that a hit, but listen, whatever. <laughs> uh, Coach Maya says, the comedians are on the first hour or so on the replay. Gotta cut that. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Nah, but uh, the Ray J hit is, if I had one wish... No, you don't remember that? That's you, not Ray J. Who the fuck is One Wish? You tripping right now, man. It's you will right. be my Isn't boo. That... Promise to love you. Yo, oh, that is Ray J. You're right. Man, you Yo, why did I think that was Jer <laughs> Jeremiah? Bad, you're right. Jeremiah I... wasn't even born when Ray J made that nah, shit. you're right. You're right. I'm tripping. My bad. I feel like that song ain't that old, though. Damn, that song. Fuck, I'm old. Shit. Yo, he. I, if, I feel like he got ghost written because, like, how you never made another song that good? He was like, a matter of fact, I was the one that said I love you, fam. Like, yo, he was killing yeah. that shit. It was about to do one wish. So, yo, yo, that was a He was song. so nice, Floyd. Here's how, here's how I correlated. Because y'all going to be like, hold up, hold up. Why y'all why y'all bringing R&B? Here's how I correlated. He was so nice, Floyd had that dude just hanging around. Yeah, I remember playing to, piano and to shit. To play the song on the piano. Yep. That's how rich Floyd was. Like, yo, that's your only hit? Right. Fuck it. You can hang with me, and you got to play that <laughs> every fucking day on the piano. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Other, normal people buy the CD, but yeah. Floyd's so rich, he just got this he man just playing had, over and over. He had AJ there for every episode of All Access. Like, a matter of fact, you was right. the one that said, I love you first. I'm like, damn, Ray, yo, he got you on you know, repeat. You know who wrote that song? You remember Mario, the artist? Um, damn, Mario had that one popping song too, right? What was yeah. his? What was his? Ooh. Damn, it was, um... Breakfast Club of Boxing, man. Get out of here with that back to boxing shit. It's the Breakfast Club of Boxing, man. We talk a little bit of air thing. What was Mario's song? You talking about, ooh, I remember. Yo, I think I even knew the words of that. Let me love you. You should let me love you. Love you. you. Um, dun, dun, dun. Uh, uh, Everything you want, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good love, understand. No, some shit. Yeah, no, you had the lyrics. Ah, I need the lyrics. I need the lyrics, yo. All right, yo, we got hit. I'm getting hit up left and right. Oh shit, I still got 18 minutes left before my 12 o'clock. I'm getting hit up left and right for Border Wars. We got somebody want 160. Bro, we're gonna have to do a two day event. It's getting crazy. Also, we should probably like... Oh, I'll talk to you about that off air. <laughs> he had Ray J doing in-home performances. Yeah, he did. Yo, that was when... I'm sorry, but that was the hottest Fucking time Ray J in 24 7 man. all access anybody hating on ray j they don't even know music man get up out of here first off he was the first one to like put the homies on uh mainstream <laughs> 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 yo the homies yo i watched a lot of episodes of ray j's little uh he he's the he's the what pioneer he's the pioneer one of anyway one of the pioneers of reality television man it's so underrated, uh, man. He what? Bro. I, listen, I remember Flavor Flav being Bruh, one first, of the original. Yo, Ray J made sex tapes hot, man. Nobody was doing it wasn't a thing. You weren't getting paid to do a sex tape till Ray J. That's Except, true. Yo, Eve, Eve, no, it was Pam Eve. and Tommy. It was Pam and Tommy. You tripping. Pam and Tommy. You had to pay for that? I ain't know that. I, don't know. I ain't yeah, know that. I did it. I know, I I know Kim and Ray J but... got a deal. They got a deal for that shit, bro. You could Google that. So I don't know about that, man. Adrian, you trying to motherfucking call live? Get on the show. But uh, yeah, I got a 12 o'clock, so he killing me. I got, I got people hitting me. Let's see what we got. We ain't leaving no man behind. We got Stainless on the Boomerang. And we got Bo and Bama. We going to Bo and Bama on a ring of status. What up, though? One of the fighters is going to lose. And no matter what, Don King's going to win. 
That's the way it's supposed to be. It's in America, man. That's enterprise. I didn't write the rules. I revolutionized the pay scale in boxing. I paid fighters more money than anyone in the history of the sport. That is a true fact. You know that, is, I mean? that is the so, well, I mean, well, the only, only thing I could be guilty of is hitting them in the head with hundred dollar bills, giving them dignity, pride, and a lot of money. So now, whatever it is, is more than what they could get from any adversary of mine. Otherwise, they wouldn't be with me. Shout out Tabo, Riddick, Bo, Bo Mack, and Bo Jackson. It's Boy Bama. My intro was made, created by myself. Shout out to Don King, only in America. Hey, I just checked out the BPE app on the, uh, I've been had the app and whatnot, watch the Border Wars, 10 and 11 there. Download now if you want to see those fights. Great action. But I watched a uh, card y'all did in Atlanta with Carlos. And what was it, Carlos' last name? Oh, Carlos. Uh, and yeah, Carlos Yanez and Robert the Bully. Roberto the Bro, Bully. Carlos, Carlos Yanez was fighting at 289 pounds, but he was like a 128 pounder, bro. 126 pounder. In like 10 years ago, literally. Did y'all did y'all notice that? That's like Carlos Negron, remember? Well, Carlos Negron, like 6'3", ain't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, Carlos, I mean, Carlos Yanez is not big, but you seen the fight. He's a fucking dog. Yeah, it was. That was a good car. And then what's up with the dude? I seen like on the preliminary stuff, like on YouTube, how that dude Showtime Sean had like maybe like a bad attitude. You know, he seemed like he had a real bad attitude. Who? Who? But, who, who you talking about? Sean uh, Martin, the, the, the hard headed? Man, I'm talking about the dude that got first round started. He knocked the dude, stopped the dude with a body shot, was standing in the corner, ran over and did a flip over the dead body, man. Oh, I mean, I think he, he about, did a flip. Ain't that, ain't he did that, a, I I never that seen was, that before. I think that was lucrative cash you talking about. Lucrative cash on Instagram. I'm talking about, yeah, I'm talking about Sean, Showtime Sean. Oh, he did, he, that kid. Yo, he had mad people. You seen the crowd? You seen what our response to his yeah. crowd? His crowd yeah, was when, crazy. You talking about the short, short, uh, sure. light-skinned dude. The man got to get some form of coverage. I think he got a badass attitude because I seen some stuff on YouTube and he like was kind of being disrespectful and whatnot. I don't know. He just got a badass attitude, but bro, that was that nigga knocked the man out in the first round, ran across the ring, did a flip over him, almost got disqualified because yeah. he did a flip over the dead body. Never seen that before. Incredible. Mm -hmm. And it was off. I seen it off guard. Like I didn't expect it. So yeah, that was incredible. <laughs> But yeah, Border Wars 12 is going to be a movie, bro. Definitely. It's going to be a movie. And I never think that there's too many matchups up front because typically when the actual fights happen, like 50% of the people back out. So, yeah. you know. Yeah, they get the pussy syndrome. They get the pussy syndrome, like my man just said. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. Shout out Canadian Jose making his uh, appearance back on the uh, pound for pound. I didn't expect that. But hey, man, say, it is what it is. It's a great day in the uh, TBV land, and I'm looking forward to seeing much more later on this evening. Uh, what, what, last thing is, what's up with that King Born impersonator? What's up with that? Uh, that was just a promo for, for the three guests we got today. I, I, li I like that, and I like I like King Born style. So, I mean, if we could actually get more of those, for the shows and whatnot, that'd be pretty cool. It don't take him nothing to do it. He that's he coming off the top of that. He freestyling that every time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for real. Hey, hey man, and if, if people if we like can hear that, that one, more, do it. Yeah, if I can hear that one one more time before uh, you close out today, that'd be great as well. Uh, shout out Don King. Shout out Roger Mayweather. Only in America, baby. Border Wars Twelve coming to a venue near you soon. Hey, yo, man, yo, you hear me? Yo, peace, 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 man. Yo, listen, I know you don't like having three guests on, but yo, when Gerald Washington, yo, he got to fight Mike Polite Coffee, man. Yo, he relevant right now, man. Yo, let's get it popping, man. Yo, we got the lady spider crab, you know, uh, Gabriella Fontora. Then you got... El Bandera Roja, man. Yo, David Benavidez, man. Yo, that's three guests on the flagship show, man. Yo, let's get it poppin', man. For real, man. Yo, 
get us bananas, man. Yo, man, man, free me. Let's make it happen, man. Yo, for real, man. <laughs> Yo, that was that's funny, man. Mario six one eight, man. Come on, Mario be sleep over there, big. Bruh, they keep nah, they keep jumping on and jumping off. All right, I got it. It was six one eight. I remember when I see that. Yeah, it's Hope. We got ten minutes before the end of the show. It's Hope. So it's Hope Bradley. Hope Bradley, we got you a fight, champ. Send them fees, and we gonna send the contracts over, man. We gonna send the footage. We gonna get it. We gonna get it done, man. I need footage from you so he can accept, but I got someone right up your alley, right right in your size bracket. It's going down. And he's a little bit older than you, I think. How old are you, Hope? I'm 34. Oh, you younger, Hope. See? I'm treating you right. I'm giving you a Wisc some Wisconsin uh, opponent who you are. You should be younger, but let me confirm. But how are you, brother? Good morning. I'm good, man. Just, you know, getting up, getting I'm, my day started. I heard you call my name, so I had to call I'm in. I'm glad you answered the call, man. This is what I'm talking about. You ain't got that syndrome we just spoke about a few minutes ago who others seem to get. You heard your name. You answered the call, so this is what we need. I'm, I'm literally texting with the other person's team now, finding out the age, and we're going to work out the details. Uh, can you please send me a message on Patreon so we can exchange information this way? I'll have a way to send you his footage and you can see who can be a potential opponent. Obviously, if you're serious, we need you to go ahead and pay those fees because this is the work that we're putting in, the matchmaking, the, 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 the finding of the opponent process. But I think I got somebody um, and I'll just I'll give you his name. Okay. Uh, his name is L.J. Walker. He's 6'3". How tall Walker. are you? How, how tall are you? I'm 6'1", but... Oh, damn, he's 6'3". I don't matter. How, how heavy are you? You're 315, you said, right? He's 280. You're 315, yeah. he, he's 280. So, yeah. Okay. And how old is he? I'm trying to confirm the age that right now the, the the my contact is telling me he wants to say he's 30, but let him confirm. You said you're 34. Yeah. I thought you was uh younger. So we gonna find out his his his, his correct age. Uh, but right now they saying that they 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 wanna believe he is 30. Yo, did I not did I not say, um, hope. Uh, this is completely not to you. I mean, you got anything you want to say before I go into this other little topic? No, man. You know, just answering the call. You know, when I hear my name call, hey, I'm I'm there. All right. Well, uh, like I said, man, hit me up either on Instagram or, uh, yeah, Patreon so we could uh, get you the footage and you could send me some footage. All right, man. All right. Oh, Bradley. Um... Adrian, we need the correct weight. I need... It's a good-ass name, Hulk Bradley. Exact age. I said weight by mistake. I need exact age. Um... Damn, John Pascal failed another Vada dr drug test. Really? Yeah, my man tripping. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. I got your brother, Austin. Don't worry. I, I sent you. I sent you the the Instagram of the opponent I want for your brother. I'm trying to um get this dude to confirm. He 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 said he's down unless it's the Canelo fight. I'm like, man, forget going live to the Canelo fight. You could watch that shit with us. For real. Yeah, we can all watch it. You know what I'm saying. So I'm trying to get you. I'm trying to get your brother that one. Oh, shoes the moves the moves. How tall did Austin say he was? Uh, Austin, Austin, Austin is five ten and a half. Okay, I'm putting together these things. This uh, little. 
little 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 something we could post on the site that way people can go and you know see everybody their record their build all that stuff austin asking about the fees by the way um yo mm -hmm. is is everybody did are you oh you, you haven't put everybody in the border wars chat yet right Nah, yo, we gonna do a Discord Border Wars chat. Is it cause people don't everybody doesn't have iPhone. So we got Yo, to, you didn't hear what about the new update that's coming? Yeah. Nah. You I did? Didn't. Yo, listen. They're about to change the text and the FaceTime feature to where you can FaceTime with the FaceTime app to any carrier, any phone no matter what it doesn't have to be an iphone and they're making a special chat i mean a special it's gonna be it's not gonna be like iMessage, but it's gonna be a chat that you can use different features similar to iMessage. it's basically gonna be iMessage for everybody um yeah they're 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 really gonna take care of this yo i swear it's gonna be yeah everybody's saying to use discord though right now we'll see we'll see when that happens but you know till then we definitely it's on that next update we definitely need to do uh discord yeah you know you know what i liked because, i always like even the... adrian is in an, he, he got a fucking I, uh, android and and brandon Brandon needs an iPhone so he could be in the damn pre-pro and he pre -pro. got Pre-pro, I know we need him in that pre-pro, dog. Yeah, Brandon, uh, we you need to be in that pre-pro, man. We yeah. we For real, for real. But yeah. anyway, man, that is everybody uh stainless boomerang. No boomerang stainless, all right? Um, Ness GTO, Instagram, and Twitter. Catch us on the next one, 7 p.m. Eastern time uh, for the flagship show. Looks like we got a late super chat from Luminous, who says, Ness, how do I get tickets to Border Wars fight? Uh, Adrian and I will talk in a bit, and we're going to create a new event. Uh, ever, what is it? Eventbrite link? And, uh, yeah. You know, yep. Yo, so Hulk, uh, Hulk, Hulk Bradley, I know you're listening. He's 34 is the exact age. Ticket link. I need the ticket link, Adrian. Yo, uh, at Morgan McGee on Twitter, at Morgan McGee on Instagram. Uh, don't forget, tonight we do have the flagship show. 7 o'clock Eastern, where we will have three guests. Um, Gerald Washington, who is getting ready for his upcoming fight with Mike Polite Coffee. Mike Coffee, my bad. Um, we also have the sister. What's it, I'm sorry. Uh, Gabriela yeah, Fundura. Gabriela, yes. Gabriela Fundura um, will be on as well. Who is a uh, decorated amateur and uh, better amateur than than Sebastian than his, Fundora? Yeah, better amateur. And he, and those those are his words. So, yeah. Um, and then we're also gonna have the boogeyman, David Benavides. Tonight, don't forget to tune in when we make all our official picks, and you make yours because if you don't make it on air, then we don't believe you. You're gonna need more people. Yes, sir. So, peace. Let me see if this works. Yeah. Peace. Yo, you know we never played this. After he said what he said, I for, I completely forgot. I'm so I'm all over the place. Plant in that fight. Is it really penciled in for September 19th, like people are saying? Yeah, we've um, we've now exchanged some some numbers uh, from our side. I'll see him on Wednesday to go through everything with him. Um, nothing's changed from from the process of, you know, we'll have an offer from the zone. I'm sure, we'll have an offer from Fox, and then it's what what everybody feels is best for the fighters. Um, so no approach to Caleb Plant's team yet. No, nothing sent over. No, some discussions both sides, but that's really the purpose of this week to sit down and go through the financials and get things moving. Because after this week, you know, um, 
you're going to see Sal and, and Eddie Reno. So getting ready for camp, you know, heading back to San Diego and preparing. So, I so the point is, he never once said, "Well, not the nineteenth. That's a Sunday. We're actually looking to do it the eighteenth or the 11th. Yeah. So we out. Peace.